Ben told me to do that. Welcome, everyone, to the Regurgitated Podcast. If you stick to the end of this episode, we're going to be going over the top 10 foods that are yet going to be coming out later this week. Foods? Yep, top 10 foods that are coming out by fast Wait, food chains and grocery stores by the end of the week. Wait, let's restart. Let's restart. Let's restart. No. I'm not going to re... Oh, my God. All right. So let's go over um, business meeting here. Who is the target audience for this show? <laughs> Who is the target audience for Little that? Farters. Take the last 10 seconds of what happened. Who are we pitching that to? Elevator pitch this show. Who is it for? What is it about? What makes it exciting? That's a, that was a McGangbang for. That shit smelled like ho- Did you have a McGangbang today? I did. I went out. I went out because I was hungry. I was a little hungry. And I got a I got a Red Bull, and then I was like, if I just get a Red Bull, then I'm gonna my tummy's gonna hurt. So, so you had a Red Bull and a McGangbang. And I farted. Well, and I hadn't had the well, Red Bull yet. <laughs> How are you, Zach? I'm doing good. I just got off of work, and you know what's funny? We did. Um, if you, if you're on the main channel now, you're seeing shorts on the main channel. Fantastic! A little plug for what you're seeing right now, I guess. Um, and we recorded a few of them. Was that yesterday that we did that or was it the day before? It was the other the day, day before. And I, 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 I got off of work and I came home and we recorded them and I was like, I don't know why my energy is just not here. And it hasn't been after work uh, for like the past week and a half. I still feel a little tired if I'm being real, but I feel much more in the mood to bah, 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 shoot the shit with my friend. What the fuck? You know, it's funny. I'm, I'm totally not the show. I'm having like, a, I'm like having it. What? What? I'm what? having a Jim from the office moment. You ever watch the office and then see when um, Jim has those moments where he's lying. That's not his real name. He's on, a, he's on his phone. Tristan, do you ever be watching the office and have a moment where Jim from the office goes. Bazinga, right? The dead cam. No, I am home. Yes. I'm just sitting in a different spot that I usually be sitting in. So you are in, is that why you're on your phone? You're on your phone, I assume, I'm on right? My, I'm on my laptop, but I'm using the Logitech camera. So. so your mic sounds good. What mic are you using? I'm just using the Mac lap internal lap. Cap. Is that true? No kizzy, bro. I'm just being legit right now. Yeah. It's He's just, just keeping internal. it in a stack with you, Ben. You ever tried buzz balls before? I have tried uh, a buzz ball before. Them. Alexis that, got what, them. Which buzz ball is that? Faced. This is the coca tease. Coca. Coca tea. It it's looks like, like it tro- says cock like tro- teas. It is. Well, it says cocktails on it, so close. It's oh, okay. Close. I've never tried it, so I'm going to do a live taste test right now. How are you, Tristan? Bro, it's been a while since I've had a cock teas ball. I'm doing good, Ben. Thank you for asking. <laughs> I don't even want to acknowledge what Zach just said. <laughs> <laughs> um, Man, it was a dude, ball the last time I had cock teas. Tristan, well, I mean, this is, this is I mean, cl- clearly not. Uh, so the episode's coming out tomorrow, so this doesn't matter. Uh, Tristan helped me on the thumbnail. Yes, I was going to comment on it. It looks collab. fantastic. It might be one of my favorite thumbnails. Dude, we've done. listen, this is what I'm thinking. Ben, he like organized it perfectly. Like I didn't touch anything. I, I just didn't did think that I did. But he thought it was I did. good. I liked it, and I'm like, we should do that. You should like throw the assets you want on there, and then I'll go in there and tweak them and make them look really gay and saturated. So it'll be fun. Yeah. I think really I think it's what? perfect. Uh, happy. Okay, it, that's, cool. That's the yeah. what we're trying to convey the emotion. You know, it was funny. Happiness. So the, these episodes come out two weeks after we record them. I am blurry. Yeah, these episodes come out about two weeks after we record them, which makes Blood it really interesting. Delicious. Hold on. Um, delicious. Okay. I'm sorry. Did this guy get a buzz boss sponsorship? Wait, hold I on. Before so. you say anything, I want to see what this does and how this translates. What? Huh? Well, because listen, I'm also drinking a beer and they tell you not to mix drinks. This thing got vodka in it. So I think I might die tonight. I might die tonight. What what are you stopping the the show for? You want to see what translates? Did did you not hear anything? No. Oh, that's embarrassing. You're embarrassing. I hate you. (laughs) Fucking idiot. Did you not hear that either? No, are you making sound effects? No, what are you doing? I'm playing the, trans- all the media and the transition sounds and stuff. No, I can't hear shit, dude. Oh, okay. oh that's I- so unfortunate for me. 
I just this is like why we gotta now. test new features before the show. It might it might be picked Tristan. up in the recording though. Tristan, can I can I ask you ask you something off the air? Ask me right now. Yeah, off ask the air? me on the air, off air though. Uh, Not real. When I was editing the last podcast, uh, there was feedback from your headphones. So if you could turn down your head. I fucking pissed him off, dude. I didn't mean no, it. No, no, I got to figure out how to do that. How do I do that? Um, oh, settings. Okay. Hey, everyone. On. Do you want to see troubleshooting uh, uh, s- stuff live? This is going to be live tutorials. Wait, you know oh, what wait. we should do? We should just call like Microsoft support and have output. them like walk us through a PC I issue. Turn my output bit. lower. That's not a bad idea. I think that we might help. Just, we should just roast yeah, the Microsoft support guy. We should just call like it live on a call. Just a, just That's good. Good. You should do that right now. That should be this episode. That's a great fucking idea. Oh, I don't want to like make fun of <laughs> a not. Microsoft employee. You're not making fun of him. You're asking him a question that we have hypothetically right now. Yeah, and then we will make fun of him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, can we do a call in? But he call, we call him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can we tell Microsoft support to please call into the show? Can we do Let's a live a interview. Bomb live bomb yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to, to what? <laughs> to the Oscars. I don't know what's going on tonight. What, some, you want to call, some... <laughs> call a bomb threat in the Microsoft support for the Oscars? <laughs> no, no. For my college class, I have a test this weekend. Can't oh, do that. That's what he meant. That's what he meant. You ever done that before? I knew someone yeah. who did that. <laughs> I've done it so many that's times. Actually illegal. I met a friend who. It's not in the I, Bible. I had or a anything. friend that did that. Yeah. Oh wait. Ah! I was I was in preview. Anyways, <laughs> so if That's you're good. keeping track, I was making a point about 20 minutes ago that um it's about like a two week gap in between when we record these things, right? And so it's always a bit of a surprise for me to see the fully edited versions of them again. So when I got sent the thumbnail today when I was at work, I was like, oh, that looks really good. Why the fuck does it say fraud on it? Like I had no context. I was, I completely was lost on me. Like why we were talking about any kind of like identity fraud that's in front of the how, White House too. Yeah, that's yeah, kind of well, how you know were feeling also. You know how it's you know how it sparked though. I hate my hair right now. You know how, how did it sparked? spark, Ben? Um, you got Bill insecure Clinton about your height because everybody more, said you weren't six three. Oh so yeah, you brought and I out your, your yeah, you the brought lighting. out your driver's license to show. I'm yes. tall, dude. And then you start giving information out, and then we're like, "Hey, this is a link." Oh, should I stand up to prove that I'm tall? No, you don't. Like, have what to I did for you stick. after the show? Well, what, what do you have to like banana for scale? What do you want about? What do you <laughs> yeah, have banana about? low Reddit. We can figure this out. Math is great. Oh yeah, all right. So give me put a one inch thing on the ground, and then we'll see how many inches you are. Okay, so I'll take my my dick out. For scale and like, oh, that was too easy. That's that like an inch easy. for every little. You just rip one. <sighs> yeah, he just ripped. I did. It. I can smell I'm it from here show. across the way. Yeah, it didn't smell good. It's only gang banging a fart. Imagine now you got to smell that now. Probably smells good though. You, you probably like it. Everyone <laughs> loves the smell of their shits <laughs> and farts and cum. They love it. Uh, something like that. I think. I think that uh, Zach. Now I'm done with this. Sh- I'm done with the show. <laughs> Um, I farted done. twice already. I farted before you got here and after you got here, Tristan. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Mazel tov. Cheers. Cheers to you, bud. Did you try the Grimace shake? Cheers to you. No, I saw it. I saw it on the menu and I was like, I want to try that for the meme. And then I was like, well, I already have my mo- mobile order in, so no. Yeah, the thing is, is like, I'm a pretty big McGrimace fan. Um, but Did they said it was like a cereal milk type thing and I don't really want that. So, sorry. Cereal milk? Like yeah, it's like a very berry cereal milk flavor or something. You're not a fan of that? Doesn't sound up my alley. Really? I don't like cereal. Did I know that about you? Yeah, I've told you before. That sucks for you. Doctors hate this man. He doesn't love cereal. How many apples do you have a day, actually? Speaking of that, Zach. Twenty. Dude, that's how many uh, doctors does that keep away? You ever had those little tiny apples? Like yeah. really, really you small. know what's funny? This show started talking off about apples. People don't know that, but this show started off as a show talking about apples. You like apples, Tristan? Yeah, I think they're Tristan a good Dakota com- Lee War- Rose Warner. I think they're a good company. I think if you were to invest in them, I think you get a nice dividend return. Even though they don't pay dividends, but 
It'd be a nice return on investment, especially if you allocate some percentage of your capital over to that allocation. It's a solid, it's a solid growth stock it's option. Growth yeah, sure. hacking growth stocks, you know, vertical spread. Yeah, you just hack and, your growth. Exactly. I mean, it's really simple. And, uh, you know, that's all I'm doing these days. Yeah, just we just hack our growth these days, I suppose. Just hack your growth these days? You know why? Did Apple, Apple stocks shoot up? Apple? You know why it's named Apple? For something about Isaac Newton, I think. That's what I was thinking. I don't even know the answer, but I was just going to say that. But it makes sense, right? Would it be illegal or or unethical if I I've never I've never done any investing or anything like that, right? So if yes, I, this just is for the show invested and you told me what to invest in and I invested in it and then we in do two you, weeks we see We do me versus an AI bot from GPT and then we see <laughs> we put that's a great idea. It's a thousand dollars. I get five hundred. The yeah, <laughs> Ben, you put in a thousand dollars. Right, yes. I'll put in the thousand dollars. Tristan will get half of it to invest in whatever he wants. Yeah, I'll make you as like well. It's funny. 7, ben was being a little 000. bitch about the one hundred and fifty dollars he lost in our joint and PayPal I get it, account. I get it back. I don't know if you noticed. I did see that. He's well, a I got notified, on? being like, "Are you sure?" Like you added a new card, and I was like, "Oh, I'm sure that's Ben." And then it was like money withdrew from your account, and I was like, "Hopefully that's Ben." Was it his black? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. I'm Black actively Master seeing Kart. someone like move money from my account away, and I'm like, hopefully that's Ben. Hey, that's why I bought this. Wow, you're awesome, dude. I farted twice. Is this embezzlement? Is that what they call this? So hopefully you're gonna stick through this to see the ten new foods that are coming out later this week. That'll be fun. Foods? You got food. you guys are releasing a Mr. Beast menu? Yeah, we're releasing ten new foods later this week. Did you tell what are some foods that are gonna be on this list? Well, you I gotta any... stick to the end of the video to find out. Oh, okay, so, so please wait. Yeah, please yeah, wait please to the wait. end of the video to find That's out. It. I got a question, Zach. I got an answer, Ben. <laughs> so we are we play up uh You should do it blindfolded uh, though. You should like close your eyes and ask. I should close my eyes. I'll close my eyes. No, no, I'll close. My okay, eyes. so Tristan will close his eyes so he can't hear us. <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. Talk a private conversation. Um. So we often talk on the show. And we also we make some sort of some edgy jokes, some some darker what? jokes. <laughs> I just woke up. <laughs> just All right, Dolphin Dad. Uh, <laughs> Represent. He's still wearing. Um, and we make some edgy jokes and some darker jokes. And I and I I thought about this today. I'm like, I feel like. We're not racist. Well, I certainly yes, hope not. Yes, that's a good one. It's not that I hate a particular type of person. I hate a lot of people, but I also love a lot of people. You know what I mean? And there's a lot of reasons to hate some people. But right. I try not to hate people because, hey, you know, I just don't care. Like, you can do whatever you want. I don't. I don't care. You know, I'm only control what I'd be doing. You know what I mean? I think so, there's a lot of people that like are called racist, right? Like people would look at certain podcasts and certain platforms and certain celebrities and say, oh, you're racist, but they would never call themselves racist. Uh, you know, it, no, no one looks at themselves or very few people, I should say, look at themselves and say, yes, I am a racist. So I think identifying Dude, that's our, such a good sound bite. That's such a good sound well, bite. I, I'm just, <laughs> I'm so just crazy. saying in general, like, if someone else heard this show and they were like, these people are being offensive, I'm going to call this person a racist. I would disagree with it, but at least like, you know, th there's an argument. There's a, there's a contrary, right? Like I can explain myself and in, in my true position and how I feel. But I feel like if we just jump that and go straight into we're racist now, I, you know, there's not a whole lot of coming back from that. Question then for you. Okay. Fair um, enough. Yeah, how are you not a bigot? How am I not a bigot? Oh, you're asking me like this is a serious question, like how ex me proof. explaining why I'm not receipts? racist. Yeah. Well, I've had one black friend, so that's um Okay, that well, is Well, I, I know the I know the <laughs> one. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> so that's no, no, no. Um is this a serious question? Explain why I'm not a bigot. I just I this just, isn't a comedy podcast. I've, I've realized that our true intentions and political beliefs and prejudices are not on full display, and I kind of want to clear the air a little bit. Okay, is that fair? fair enough. I mean, I just hmm, that's that's an interesting point. You're 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 truly putting me on the spot here. Um, I feel like I've always been really open. Episode one was throw uh, Three white guys talk about cancel culture. You worked and for I feel Bernie like, Sanders. I mean, that's I, enough. Come on. You know I did. I, mean? I worked for, that's, technically, that's, I did work for Bernie so, Sanders. I've met him. Um, ben, I'll send you a picture to put up on the screen. Boom. Um, 
So you if, always say that and you never fucking do it. <laughs> okay. And then well, I, and then okay. I, also, Mr. Editor Man. Man. Yeah. Also, Mr. Editor Man, how about you be like, hey, you fucking said that you talked to Bernie by Sanders. Can you please send me a picture like, of Bernie Sanders? I don't want to do it. I don't do with it. I feel you. you said there just was send me one fucking Discord message. Just say Bernie <laughs> pick now. Just say, per- just say Bernie a, and I'll know what you mean. There was a video. You said you said to, uh, to me in the last episode, you were like, uh, something, something, something. I'll send you the video later, Ben. And you didn't do it, and so I just put on the screen he uh, the screen he didn't, and I don't know what the context of it was. That's my favorite. So, um, but yeah, like, like like I think in episode one I was very transparent with like yeah I think like early internet me like when I was a kid and I made YouTube videos I definitely said stuff I was ashamed of, but like yeah I feel like people usually approach that that type of conversation from the perspective of like oh I'm I'm always right you just don't understand um, I don't know I I, I mm. feel like no human is truly perfect. And as long as you're someone that continues to try to like learn, you know what I mean? And just be a sponge of information and try to like be the best person to other people as possible. Like, you know, I don't want to say there's no issue because there certainly are issues with it, but you know, I feel like you can truly demonstrate you're a good person by just listening to other people and like, you know, being really conscious of like other people's problems. And also I have a black friend. So I'm sorry. I, don't. <laughs> that's a, that's a, I have more than one black Tristan, friend, by Tristan the way, but agree. it is funny just to say one. It's not that I don't agree. I just, I'm sorry, but unless I know you, I don't care about your problems. I'm sorry. I just, I don't have enough space or capacity hey, in myself end. We need, to we, care we need about both that. Ends of the and spectrum. I just don't care. I don't know. Yeah. I'm on one spectrum. But like, it's, just, it's, you know, people will still look it. at like someone making an offensive joke and be like, oh, you're racist. And it's like, that's fine. Yeah. yeah you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah, I yeah. clearly, I mean, you, do, I, you don't post a, you know, black lives matter picture in February. You consider racist. It's like things, that, but it's just that dude. I actually kind of fucking hated um, the amount of people. I, I actually, I made an Instagram post about this and I deleted it because I thought it was kind of cringy to keep up. But like, do you remember when the Black Lives Matter protests started and everyone started posting the black square to like, for solidarity? Yeah, maybe yeah, people bro. will disagree with this and maybe coming from a white guy, it won't be perceived properly. But I just would see so many Wait, people. Wait, but you have a black friend, so let technically i have more than that i just thought it was funny to say i have one black friend like that is a funny way of being like oh i'm not racist i have one black guy i have one black guy (laughs) thanks for explaining the joke (laughs) Uh, but i'm not racist um but i i saw a lot of people post that black square right and be like oh i'm standing with you but then like talk shit about people doing like protesting you know what i mean people would post that and just do nothing else and that kind of pissed me off at the time right like yeah people just do some weird little social media posts to like virtue signal to tell other people oh look at how not racist i am i did something but have not donated towards any cause that they believe in have not you know yeah. been outspoken about any particular cause they believe in Sean, we're they're just about post a fucking social racist. media picture sorry oh that's a product of my environment your, your girlfriend <laughs> I love the, the contrast of him. me trying to defend not being racist to Sean coming in here and being like, ah, oh, it was just how I grew up. I, I asked, so Sean, I, sorry, uh, to, 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 to bring you up to speed, I, I, I asked uh, uh, Zach why he's not racist or why he's not a bigot, I should say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What is That's the all. definition of a bigot? What's the difference between being a bigot and being racist? I actually mm. had someone explain this to me somewhat recently. And okay, Google. Um, I'll be I'm honest gonna, with you. Lie. If whoever it is ever sees this, I'm so sorry. I forget the details. Zach, how dare you? What's the difference between a racist and I'm a bigot? Sorry for cutting you off as well. It hurts me. Here are some it's results sick. from the web. I got to tell can we just first and foremost say that the definition of racism involving like power constructs is kind of bullshit? Like you can definitely be racist and not. That's a whole other can of worms because there's a large mm-hmm. amount of people that believe Dude, that debate podcast ra- debate podcast do it do it do it or white guys no to tell black that. people what no racism one. actually is um look that's a good, I'm not gonna sit that's here. A good bit that's a funny bit i'm not I'll gonna die on the sword we, this, that, that bit's from episode one that bit is from episode one no but we shoot uh, it like a short film 10 minutes long okay well get your ass out here and film it like a short film then all of mm-hmm. you um but i don't know there i Look, me as a white dude, I'm not going to sit here and tell you what is or isn't racism, but there is a heated debate amongst a lot of people about whether or not racism is purely systematic or not. Um, you know, I think that the whole white people can't be racist thing purely depends on whether black or not you feel. Can't be racist. <clears throat> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, white people, surely white people can't <laughs> be can't. racist. It's impossible. <laughs> well, yeah, the whole black people can't be racist thing purely stems from if you view racism as a systematic, as a, as a system, system to issue 
or as like an interpersonal issue. Um, and you can separate those two things, but some people view racism as entirely a systematic thing and nothing else. Thank you for that educational from segment that. from this podcast. Very educational here. At the Ridiculous Podcast. Clapper Zach, he's not a racist. Episode twenty-six. Not a racist. You can he's call me a racist. Confirmed. I disagree with you, but like you know, confirmed. people are open. They can have their own opinions. I love you, Zach. I love you, Zach. I don't. I don't know what I've said on this show that could possibly make me seem like a racist. Cut. Yeah, well, me either. Crazy. To the one yeah, thing cut. That he said. <laughs> yeah, cut to the one thing. <laughs> To the one joke I said. Don't forget to do that. I've ever said. <laughs> mm. so, um, I'll remind you on Discord to do that cut <laughs> because Zach will yeah, remind Tristan you. Tristan will remember that one. Me <laughs> with Bernie Sanders. I'll text you to Bernie Sanders. Don't you worry. All right. Um, I was just thinking about that because I know, like, it's like a meme that, like, if you have a Discord podcast or like an online podcast and you're white, excuse me, uh, it's probably a bad, a bad mix of. Uh, you know, prejudices. Well, we're bad people. Yeah. And I think that uh, I just wanted to like lay the foundation that we're not. That's the first uh, amendment. Like, Oh, I see. So that's the context. Yeah. We're not like politically like the worst people. I, 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 I am very left leaning. We're not very, I'm, I'm more left leaning surely than I am right leaning. Um, this whole episode, just an apology video, yeah. I guess. Ooh, I'm sorry. That's wait, a good. That's a great idea. Oh, sorry. Is it? Yeah. I, I'm sorry that I okay. say retarded and gay sometimes. I'm a I'm a liberal cuck and um I hate being white and um Jesus Christ. I also don't think you're talking <laughs> to Sean. I think Sean is on a different <laughs> Sean, what do you what do you got? <laughs> what do you apologize what do for I something? Got? Apologize for something? Yeah. I'm sorry. sorry, I'm sorry, I exist. <laughs> he had, he sorry didn't want to specify born, what mom. are you sorry for. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I had no choice. I don't know. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for, Tristan? I'm sorry that the pigment of my human body tends to be lighter than some other people. And I wish I could kill myself for that. But I can't. <laughs> I wish I could kill myself, but I, I, the other stuff, I don't know. You know what? I, I was thinking about it. I don't know if I should publicly come out and say that. You know what? I'll keep it in. I don't think I'll come out and say this right now. This I'm gay. Okay. No, I was, you know, yeah, I was that. I'm a homosexual. I like you. I wish you were. <laughs> That'd make the show a lot more interesting. I've explored some subreddits before. I mean, I've explored cut, some men before. That. Have you actually explored men before? Yeah. I don't believe you. Why do you say it like that? Because I—that's how I talk. The confidence in his voice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm Top a for sure. What do you want? You want me to send you a video of me sucking dick in college? Is that what you I want? I mean, yeah. Can we get proof? Come on, flash it. Come on, Ben. I don't flash trust the video. editor of this show with that. I trust him with my bank information. I don't trust him with that. <laughs> um, that's unfortunate. I needed a video to watch. <laughs> yeah, I, I need like something on. to watch while I eat. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you ever on YouTube? You ever scrolling YouTube and there's just nothing there? I just want to watch Zach suck a dick. I don't yeah. know what the problem is. Yeah. That could be that could be a bucket lab upload too. <laughs> Think about the content, dude. Oh shit! Wait, aesthetic shot. Buzzball chalk trash. I'm trying to give you some. I'm trying to give you some B roll. Some B roll. You know what I mean? Give the B roll. There you go. Does it actually mm-hmm. say cock tees? It Says cocktail. No. It says chalk tees. Oh, like cock tees. You like that. I'd like to apologize. Welcome for, to the uh, joke, Sean. Welcome okay. to the joke show. Um, today we have uh, to tell jokes on that show. I don't know. Oh wait, we should introduce the show. Welcome to the regurgitated podcast. Starring. Please tell me this is how we're starting it. Like actually, this has been such a fucking crap shoot up until this point. Thirty minutes the, after. Please tell me everything else has been cut. Welcome to the regurgitated podcast starring Benjamin P- Pank, Ben Pack from YouTube, Zachary Marshall from YouTube, Tristan. Dakota Lee Rose Werner Turner from YouTube and Sean O'Day, Sean Devil from YouTube. I'm, I'm very confused right now. Why? I'm definitely sober. Um, <laughs> that that sounds a, that's the most sober I, I've ever heard of you. I got an I got a new uh, a new travel chess set. And um I just have a couple questions for you guys. Okay. This is obviously a circle, right? What if it's, it's a square <laughs> in a circle, sure. Yeah, but I mean, it's obviously around. round. It's not obviously thick. round. 
What do you mean? It's, uh, yes, what do you mean? it's just the suggestion. <laughs> it's just suggestive for okay. round. Okay. Um, let me see if I can't do this with one hand. Pretty good at doing a lot of stuff with one hand. So you see that the pieces fit in this board here. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna quickly take the board out. And switch with one. That was like okay, a dinosaur. So now, that was like an iguana. Look at his I've mouth. Now, I've <laughs> now removed. I've now removed the piece holder. Ben sent me this awesome picture of his mouth be, on Twitter. Can that please okay. be the thumbnail? Yeah, yeah. But now yeah, watch. Sure. Watch as I've slid it out this way. Watch as I slide it back in. Without. It kind of doesn't fit right. And if you look, wait, what the fuck? Hold on. Give me a second. Is this a magic Bro, trick? Sean is making shit up at this point. No, hold on. I might actually be having a stroke. Okay, so whatever. So that's fine. But if you're having a stroke, this way, better than what's going on right you now. You would think that this is because circles are symmetrical, that this would be symmetrical. But if I just spin this around and I slide it back in. 420 shirt is in health. See how it's like coming out? Oh, can you actually see that? See how it's like yeah, coming yeah. out the side here? Yeah? Happy Pride. So it's it's not symmetrical. It's like freaking me out. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's, it's not, not symmetrical. Weird. You have a weird thing about circles, Sean. I'll, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Maybe it's internally not symmetrical. I don't believe in... Um... Never mind. I was going to say something racist, but I shouldn't say it. Because you're not that. Well, you just apologize. You can't go back to the old. Yeah, apologize behavior. two more times. I'm sorry. It's I'm allowing sorry. us to come back for a part two ne- next week. Yeah, it's okay. story structure. <laughs> yeah, come on, guys. He's going on his I sh- uh, story. Arc. I I showed this this to uh, Zach last night, and I think Sean has seen it. So this might just be for Tristan. Like I got a new magnets, phone, Tristan. How do they work? Oh, that's cr- oh, you got wait. Is that the Pixel one? That's the that's the new no. Nintendo SP. This this that's is the, the Pixel Nintendo Switch. That's the oh, new that's Game Boy sick. SP. I love their folds. I do like it's Ben and so I chose cool. like pastel colors. Hold that's your phone up again, Ben. Well, look at ben the, look at the very, color choices Ben and I choose for our phones. Ben's a very pastel purple kind of guy. Oh, I thought that was a case. That's the actual phone. That's no, crazy. This, is, this is the case. Oh, oh. Okay, but the click okay, okay. the phone is the same color. Oh, so. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. That's okay. Crazy. Can yeah, we have that's my new phone. I'm fucking loving 10? it. One out of ten. One out of ten. One out of ten. One out of ten. Mm, I, my old phone was like a th- eight. This is probably like this is. You know how like phones deteriorate over time, just like humans. In just cars. like humans, right? In cars. So, I I would have called my old phone an eight when I got it, and then it went down to like a six. It's the same deal. I'm at. I'm back at an eight. Okay. Fire. 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 Zach. Phone See review. Um, I'm a big fan of the Pixels. Um, when I got the Pixel 4, when that came out, it was my favorite phone I've ever had. Um, I then got um, this is the Pixel 6 Pro. Both of them have had build quality issues, though, which is fine because the Pixel is like a flagship style phone at a cheaper price point. So that's kind of fine. But I am struggling because I love the Pixel and the features and how different it is. And I love everything about the Pixel except for they just keep falling apart on me faster than normal phones. So I'm debating when the Pixel 8 comes out later this year in October, do I spend another like $800 or trade this in to make it like four or $500 for a new Pixel? Or do I switch to something else? I, I just don't, don't want, I just want to make sure it does not blow up in your pocket. <laughs> no, it does make a noise though when you shake it around. Ben, p- p- put this in the video. When you put it in the video, I wasn't gonna cut can it. Can you hear this? Oh, I can hear <laughs> no, can it. Can you Sounds hear like it? There's something loose yeah, I can in there. hear it. I can hear it. Yeah, that's like it's not supposed to do that. Like, there's just the the charging ports kind of busted on it, which is a little bit my fault, but still, it's just way too easy to only, do that. You you can only uh, wirelessly charge, right? Right now, yes. Highly recommend. Ten out of ten. I, do, I have a really cool refocus. setup right here. I I, I set up a wireless charger on the base of one of my monitors, uh-huh. and it, so the wire goes up the back of the, the monitor out the, the other side, and it goes into the wall. Uh, so I, my phone's always at a hundred. He's a hundred so. boy. That's sick. And you just like. Place I also it there. got a new thing. I got a new thing that Zach might like. <laughs> yeah, what he might like. What the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. I did not like that. Zach, okay. You 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 use a uh, Xbox One controller on your Xbox, right? You poor you poor bitch. So I think look at that this the, way. Hold on, hold on. shut up, Ben. Look at this. 
I thought he pulled out a banana for a moment. <clears throat> My personally- light has been turning on and off, and it's yeah, been pissing I know, me. I didn't know if that was like a like an automatic feature. In no, here. no, it's been fuck. I, there's got to be a cord loose, but I've tried plugging everything in. So far, the show is I'm gonna four try it. white guys I'm gonna try it. too poor to keep their lights on. Fart and explain why they're not they're not racist and show each other Xbox controllers and phones. All right, can you the most can you, ADHD make that autistic less, podcast I've ever less seen? Less than a hundred words, please, so I can put it as the title. No. I, okay. So I got a I got a new little gadget, Zach, because I think that the Xbox One controller and the Xbox episode. One Series controller is are the most uncomfortable controllers that are really? out. Um, you actually don't in like the current them? gen. I, I think that they're the worst. I think PlayStation's I, the, a little too rigid for me. Like I know the people love them and everything. PlayStation Five controller but... is ridiculous. I I not in a good way. I like it. It's more. I think it's more still more comfortable than the Xbox One controller, but it is so stupidly shaped. It's like a fucking big ass banana. Yeah, every so, time I hold a PlayStation controller, I'm like, I feel like this wasn't shaped for my hands. Which so maybe I'm just not used to it, but also some you know what else is shaped for your hands? Oh, oh you want to know cucumbers this, this is, when you're so you know, eating cucumbers. I'm you trying know something to, interesting. I'm trying to get on fucking like news programs and stuff. I can't be here on this. Right. Are you actually trying, trying to get, get on news programs? You think Joe Biden's a pedophile? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Look how big this fucking controller is. Do you have a connection to get me a news program, Sean? I might. Channel 5. I got you. You'd be the new host. I could could go shoot up a mall and be like, look at my friend Zach. (laughs) Let's go, Zach. Let's go, Zach. (laughs) Um, So, Zach, I I have have a new gadget for you. You have a new gadget for me? Is it a Hitachi? Oh, (laughs) that works, too. Never before seen. Exclusive. Xbox. I got this today. Something interesting. It's it's, it's an what? Xbox. It's an Xbox 360 controller that connects to an Xbox Series and a PC. Oh, Ooh, that's God. actually pretty cool. The Xbox 360 controller was pretty was pretty sick. I think um, the Xbox 360 controller was the best controller before the PS4 controller. Interesting. And the PS4 controller is like the best, like full, like you know, triple A you controller. Know, speaking of uncomfortable controllers, I've really wanted to buy one of those Duke controllers for the Xbox. Ben. They're kind of uncomfortable, but I like the way they look. No, Ben's got them. There you go. Well, I, this, is the, this is the original. I assume you're talking I about the Hyperkin the, like, one. plastic though. green one. No, the yeah, you're Duke. Talking about, you're talking about the Duke, but then you're talking about the Hyperkin one, the one that actually connects to your Xbox. Yeah. This, is, this, connects, this connects to the, my, my original Xbox. Not the, gotcha. So that's an original Duke. That's an OGD. So yeah, Hyperkin made, original Hyperkin Duke made right. that. Hyperkin remade that Duke with the, with the help of my Xbox. They also made this. It's the same people. Mm. Why does Hyperkin so, sound like a website I read on 4chan that I should? It, it kind of sounds Nazi-ish, even. Okay, you think what? Hyperkin sounds like Nazi-ish? You'd know. I You'd know, Sean. Sean would be the best. He'd have the most knowledge. That's all I'm saying. So I trust him. Do you think that's true? You think that Sean would be the, 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 the have the most Nazi no, knowledge? No, I wouldn't. I'm just kidding. Maybe. Someone has to have it. Look at the pigment. I mean, me <laughs> and him true. might have the same pigment. There's a spectrum. We're all on a spectrum, you know? I'm on. I, I'm on definitely on the spectrum. That's what I'm yeah. saying. So I'm certainly I've, on a spectrum. I've definitely learned my autism. The only spectrum I'm on is 5G. I think that's a scam, but go on. Oh, wait, go, Spectrum go as in, like, the internet provider? Yeah, the internet yeah, service I, provider. How did you even get that far in the joke? That was a good one. That one hit me second time. No, it wasn't. Um, I'm going to fucking kill myself. Can that be the intro I, joke? Because that one was fucking fine. Yeah, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll start now. So I've learned that my autism is worse than I thought it was. Mm. I don't think you have autism. I think you're perfectly sane. syndrome. Go ahead. I think you're perfectly sane and you should stop self-diagnosing. I, think I don't so. think you should equivocate insanity with autism. Huh? How about that, bigot? Tristan, what do you think? <laughs> Explain why you're not a bigot. Well, I think you should I be just learning think all the time. you're beautiful the way you are. You know what I mean? So right. we, got, we got don't self-diagnose. You're beautiful the way you are and you're insane, not autistic. <laughs> Those are my three. So I, uh, I, I realized Shut how up, much retard. I fuck... <laughs> We should have an intervention for Ben. <laughs> That's what this I'm episode trying is. To get wait, 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 wait. Uh, okay, actually, I, I want to back up for just a second, Ben. You can definitely get on C-SPAN. But, we're um, definitely not. We're not bleeping. You guys were That's saying, saying. Someone said something. Yeah, I was going to say, you, you guys were talking about not being offensive. And I just, were you talking about the retard before? 
before I got on? No, I feel like someone said bad. that they say the R word. I, I say retard. I say retard and gay, and I, but I'm not racist or. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Whatever. That's what I was saying. Um, you wish you no, was racist. I I do this shit with my hands. This episode, like, I'll is... just like randomly like go like this and shit. I don't, okay. I don't really recognize that I do it. Like it's just like a nervous tick. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's uh, that's it. I was um filmed for work this week and um, yeah, keep talking I, about they, it. Let's hear I mean, about I'm not going to ta- say about too it. much about it. Yeah, I hear more. I hear association more and everything, but when we were reviewing the footage, the guy who was editing it was like, "You move your hands around a lot," and I'm like, "Yeah, he's expressive." Definitely noticed. I was like constantly like. It's a good thing. Cosmic That's not a bad gumbo. thing. That's a good thing. That's all I'm saying. I think it's a bad thing. Kill yourself. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I've, kill yourself, I've, turned, I've turned it so quickly. I, I, uh, Zach, actually, I love talking. <laughs> I love space. listening to you talk. <laughs> you love listening to me talk? I'm happy yeah. someone does. I know. I, I, because I, Ethan I, has before, when we talked to Ethan, he before has, has like given you shit because you don't oh, shut yeah. the fuck up, right? Yeah, I love listening to you not shut the fuck up. And I was, I was, I was, because you, you were, you're, con, you're concise with your not shutting the fuck up, which sounds like really opposite, but you don't repeat. Like I talk a lot, but I repeat what I say a lot. You just say the thing. Oh, yeah. Cause I, my mind just doesn't shut off. It's unfortunate. It's fortunate and unfortunate at the same time that I could potentially talk for hours and it just doesn't stop. It never turns off. Unless I'm with people, it. unless I'm with other people then it can sometimes never turn on. What what has made it? What if I got you fucking shit face drunk? Would you st- would you still just not shut up? Uh, it, I think me not being able to shut up entirely depends on what people I'm with. Not, and that's not, not even a shot at the at the people I'm with that I don't talk a lot in front of. It's just a different vibe. I don't know what so to say. I feel like loopy. Okay, I'm going to give you a scenario. Being if drunk has no effect on it. Okay. Being high does. I shut down completely when I'm high. Really? Mm-hmm. That's unfortunate. Well, I, so you have an, does, you have an upper drug, drunk does, and a does, downer high? Does the, drug, does the drug matter yeah. or is it just... Oh, marijuana. Okay. You mean ganja, THC? Yeah, no, I can't, I completely shut Koosh down. Koosh and reefer? I cannot hold a coherent conversation. Really? Because hmm. you're doing it pretty well right now. And I know that you're intoxicated. <laughs> Weed bro. <laughs> That's me. Um, <laughs> one. I'm... <laughs> I'm... Uh, <laughs> Weed bro. Zach, Zach, I, ring, I don't... Ring. Um, I'm sorry. Marijuana? No, thank you. Zach, yeah. Just say are, no. you able to mul- are you able to multitask? Um, probably. Doing what? I was today I was editing. I can jack off and cry at the same time. Oh. Yeah, when I worked at a call center and they were like, oh, you need to like talk to someone and take notes at the same time, that fucked me up. But I can certainly edit videos and play Civ 6 at the same time. So Okay. So I was editing videos while talking to Alexis and I was in a meeting that I had to listen to and I didn't do any of them particularly well, but I, 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 I almost, I almost uh, stimmed, but, uh, <laughs> you're just editing videos. Like, I don't know. You do like the vision tracker thing you're editing in the fucking new Apple mm-hmm. vision pro and you're listening to your meeting and your girlfriend and you're just like stimming with your hand. I don't want to do it hand motion. Censor my hands when I did that. That's offensive. But you're okay. doing whatever your particular stim is. And uh, are, we, are, are we on an anti-offense kick? No, but no. I genuinely think looking at people that stim and just treating it like this is probably offensive. You know what I mean? I thought you were actually stimming. How how did how do you you're stim? offended me? He was um, he was down I in Call of Duty lot. and he was trying to increase his health and he had to stim and then he came back to life. Yeah, I hit stim pack. That's it. That's it. I um I I sweat a lot and I and I uh can't stop moving my hands and arms. Is it I don't know if I'm stimming, but I'm calling Sorry, it stimming. Sorry, I'm stimming. Show me your hands. For stimming. And you're just like stimming and you can't move your hands. Like, Show me your hands. Like I can't. I have, I'm stimming. I have realized how how oh, how dependent. Speaking of that, I I realized how dependent I am on technology to just be because I have like a pretty good computer. Like it's for being five years old, it's pretty good. Like it's you know it's in pretty good condition. Um, I realized that when my computer slows down, I lose my fucking mind, and it's a really bad thing to be used to because mm. I I was waiting for <clears throat> Vegas to to get done while I was also working on the thumbnail with Tristan with the pre pre Tristan. I got a burp. I'm not Tristan anymore. I'm Christian. 
Oh, I, a, I know it. You know get, it, Christian. I'm going to get a snack. Um, Can we do a be, baptized episode where we all get baptized? That's huge. Holy water. Holy water. I have holy, holy water, water from 2012. You know, holy water is just pee. Isn't that crazy? Mm. I'll, I'll sign up. Now I'll sign up. I think you got me. <laughs> I think you turned me. Um, I like but I was, I was working on the thumbnail and it's the video kink. kind of kind of at the same time and i was like i wanted to open a a, 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 a tab and watch youtube at this like while i was waiting for things to load and i would have just made everything load uh, like slower i was a mess i don't i don't use my phone that much like for i spent six hundred dollars on this phone that's a bando and a half that's a good that's a good deal it's not um bad. and i don't use it that much and i think that, it, that tiktok would be awful for me for that reason because i just need Go, 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 go. By the way, holy fuck. You want to hear some big news? Oh, Zachary? I want to hear some big news, Benary. Uh, Benjamin. This is going to be out, very outdated by the time that this comes out. But XQC, are you familiar? Uh, yeah, I know what you're going to say. I saw. He got a hundred million dollar That could be us. Deal. That could be, that could be us. That maybe it's Dude. not true. Do you think that maybe... No. They lied they about those by numbers. Gambling, bro. Come on. They 100% paid 100 million. No, but I'm saying if I was more. a startup, if I was a startup, and you came to It's me. not a startup. It's not a startup. Because startups don't have money, bro. They have money. They are backed by a gambling casino fucking online. Web. Like, they have billions of dollars. I'm telling like, they Can have I finish money my thought, Tristan? I don't. Yes. And plus, no. they're, they're, they have recurring revenue. They made two, like $2.8 billion, I think, last year. Okay. Okay. Thanks to me. So, <laughs> um, if I was a startup, fuck you. If I was a startup, <laughs> and I had a good bit of money, right? A good bit. And I wanted to lock down a streamer, right? What's stopping me from being like, all right, I'm going to pay you $25 million. More money. Like if you came to me, obviously I'm not at this guy's level, but like $25 million is $25 million. So we're going to pay $25 million for this two-year deal. Under the condition, publicly, we both agree to say it was $100 million. I would still say yes. No. Why would, wait, but why would that be? I, I mean, there's got to be some sort of law. Because that then they that, that get happen. to say like, oh, we're paying people these ridiculous yeah, amounts of money. Odd. I don't know. Yeah. But They're not doing that. for what? There's no investors. No. Yeah. P- there's investors who are investing in this company. That would be D de- D de- informing fucking investors or whatever the fuck that term is. Look at me, I'm de-informing investors. I'm grimace with a white penis. Yeah, why would you, and I'm why would you, you want to de-inform, de-inform investors? investors. That doesn't make any you, sense. You'd be inflating your numbers and you'd be per- having the perception that like you're doing a lot better than you are when in actuality you aren't. So that, uh-huh. yeah, they wouldn't be able to do that. To stop fucking, you're trying to de-inform. Zach, it's pissing me off. Stop trying to de-inform. <laughs> That's even worse than being racist. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good. So we can start being racist again. <laughs> yes, yes. Sean's been waiting for this moment. I, I'm actually going to go get a snack. I will be right back. Please uh, You're gonna be gonna get your yourself. Snack that smiles back. Goldfish. You better come back with goldfish. Dude. I, there's no goldfish in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this dude eats fucking Chex Mix or whatever. Dude, you want to no, hear something sad as fuck? Hey, <laughs> dude, 420 <laughs> is for you. Am I right? Let's go. That's right, Tristan. No, oh. Tr- no, oh, yeah, no. That's that's straight, Tristan would never. That's straight that's straight fuck gentrification the, uh, of my... Of my the I-95 collapsed in Philadelphia, right? That's a good trip. Good I don't know. I don't know. You're welcome. Mute my audio when I said that. In editing, just turn that audio down there and make sure that no one can hear me and it's just silent. You just like eee! and do that you sound. It. It was like, you don't want anyone to hear that you live. You don't want anyone to hear that you live in Mute Sean. Mute Sean. Mute Sean right now. Don't let him speak. <laughs> and now we're good. Wait, does he know your address? Yeah, exactly. I don't know if I believe him or not. I don't know if I can cut that. I have to cut that. I don't know. It's some dude's house. I'm not going to confirm nor deny. I'm just saying. That'd be be almost like if I just said my address is. so fake. Come Everyone, on, get your credit cards out. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm looking up you. What address you just gave me, Tristan? I'm not even. I'm not. Okay, not look it up. With you. I'm telling you. What is, you said? It's in Shepherd's Crest. It's in Shepherd's Crest. Hills, I'll be right back. California. I don't even think you should be looking up anymore. I think you should just trust me. There should be like a connection here. You know what I mean? You should be like, oh yeah, I trust him. He, why would he ever lie about it? Like an address. So dumb, you're you know? talking it's about. A- Kentucky. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's just the yeah, address because we're trying to get lower rent. And if we yep. put it in. Right. But yeah. That's okay. the one.
That's okay. Right. Okay. I'm just, I was just making sure. I was just, you don't want to dox okay. that guy because that guy's Zach. That was Zach's hat. Hey, you know what it is? Pussies. We're eating marshmallows tonight. Bro, that's what, marshmallows. Marshmallows. what the fuck was I talking to about before? <laughs> Shut up. Zach, get the help. <laughs> what? What were we talking about? I was reading this tweet that says Japan is the Wakanda for white people. I don't we were talking about those how, are just um, words that we were talking don't, about how I don't I've gained eight, eight subscribers means. in the last seven days or something like that. Sean, listen to me. Can you listen to me? I was watching your live stream. Loved it. Great live stream you had earlier. If you want to check it out, link in the description. I don't know. If we're not putting the link in the description. Okay, yeah, then go that. fuck yourself. But look at Sean. It was great. But the best parts are when you're Sean's talking. channel the will be in air, the description. You got to just start to. You just got to start just rambling about whatever that's another bullshit thing. you're doing. Sean doesn't know how to shut the fuck up either. So I don't no, know the deal is when you do that more. Do okay, that more. Uh, ben, ben, I want a serious answer. You're not going to offend me. I think I have I think my I'm... own answer, but I want to hear your answer. You said mm-hmm. you like Zach because he doesn't stop talking and he's like concise. Yeah. I'm definitely not like that, right? Like I talk a lot, but like I'm just retarded. You're not concise at all, no. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't. I, I like hearing you talk. I put your videos on to go to sleep because you're so fucking boring. The truth is coming out on this whole. I did like Sorry. a few episodes ago. Actually, it was the short that we released this morning, which is now outdated because this is coming out two weeks ago. But it did so well for some reason. But Ben was talking, and I stopped him, and I was like, "You know how on YouTube see. you could just press like the forward button and it skips ten seconds? I just did that to you accidentally listening to you." Yeah, and yeah. the funny thing was, I wasn't even doing a joke. Like I actually pressed the button <laughs> while listening to you <laughs> while I was zoning out and being like, "Oh yeah, I can't skip my friend." <laughs> So I I'm thought very, I could I'm, just skip my friend, but turns out I, you have to listen to everything they say. I'm kind of like the opposite where I, I don't know how to talk good and I'm not concise. Dude, that's fine. I wouldn't have, I would uh, why do I have a podcast. Why did I, why did I say to start a podcast? Uh, podcast? Maybe this will help it. Wow. Maybe. Is Maybe my English helping? will sound better now. I think you're funny. I think Ben's funny. You think I'm funny? I agree. Yeah. I think the show yeah, funny looking <laughs> oftentimes lacks some structure. But what I think we're funny. About? Never. I've never I think we're seen funny. That. Zach, what what happened in the last two weeks? What happened to you? I haven't seen you forever. <laughs> All right. Spit on your ground. I saw you the other day. Bro, come on. Yes and yes and this is improv. Come on, yes and what was that? I saw you the other day. Yes, yes, and, and take again. Yes, and take two. Saw, ben, start it again. Saw, oh, yeah. Okay, go again. Okay, Sean, go. Or Sean, go. What's your, oh, I, don't okay. know, I don't know. Hey, okay. Zach, we haven't seen you for two weeks, and Obama was buying coffee at the grocery store near me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my week's been good. I <laughs> <laughs> take three. We gotta go back. <laughs> Do you, I mean, like, honestly, it's so weird because my life is like I go in to my job and then I do my job all day and I come out and I edit shorts for this channel is and then being side a- content for this channel. And I went to the gym yesterday for the first time in a while. That was pretty cool. Um, I eat at some pretty yes. dope restaurants, guys. I drink okay. some pretty dope coffee Ooh. Ooh. Um, and I just sit around money. and I write funny jokes and edit funny videos all day. And that's what I do. It's like literally well, you my look whole like life. You, you gained a lot of muscle and lost a lot of weight, Zach. So I'm really proud of you. Do I really? Because I went to the gym once. <laughs> no, I can yeah. tell. <laughs> well, he that's, that's pretty much it. It's just all I needed to go back was one time. Yeah. And and you, you didn't even go to work out. You just went to go sign the papers. You didn't yeah, I went to go to the day. snack machine. Yeah, you look you like look <laughs> Yeah, we go to the Planet Fitness because they have incredible <laughs> deals on <laughs> fucking <Celsius>. protein bars. <laughs> that's in there. That's um, cool. Really, Planet Fitness for me is just a um, discount. Is that the one you're doing? In- Planet Fitness? Planet Fitness, let me get through my joke in full okay, so I can I'm put sorry, it on shorts, please, and then you can get comments. Uh-huh. <laughs> and shorts, go. <laughs> Planet Fitness for me is just a subscription service for discounts on protein bars and energy drinks. Do you actually do Gym Shark? I mean, what is it? What is the one? Gym Shark? Where the fuck did Gym Shark come that's from? That's an apparel thing, but what is the. I go to Planet Fitness, yes. Okay. Now okay. that you know where Sorry, I live, no. find me and fucking kill it's me. It's good. I, I go to a Planet Fitness in Phoenix, Arizona, and if you've okay. watched this show a lot, I'm sure you can figure out which one it is. So come and fucking kill me. Who watches the show enough to know that? I go to the YMCA. 
I will screw what we just said earlier about not being offensive. I will draw Prophet Muhammad and come find me so you can fucking kill me. How about that? I've actually met Muhammad. I know exactly what he looks like and can draw him really well. <laughs> I love that joke, Sean. <laughs> I'm not even being ironic. I love that joke. I love that joke. It's a good joke. Hey, suck you. him yeah. off then. Prove yeah, it. Yeah, come off. <laughs> come yeah, on. That'll be the video I get. Then you love him. Show the Tristan, affection. Tristan, how was your, how's your last two I'm weeks I'm getting been? slowly drunk. This buzz ball is getting smaller and smaller, just like me after I holler and holler. Yeah. After a dip in the cold water. Should, right I get a drink? Cold water. Should I get a drink too? I thought about getting a drink, Tonight but I feel like I've been drinking been, a lot of Michelle I've been, I've, been drinking a de- I've been drinking a decent amount. I feel like so. I've rarely I been sober on the show, if I'm being real. <laughs> so I felt like maybe it's time for a change. I'm, I'm completely sober right now, he's, but I can't go down DD. and get a beer if he's you the want. De- you, Zach um, is the designated no, driver. I, I know ben, the I know ben is the DD. <laughs> I know I Ben doesn't do this because Ben doesn't do much, but like, do either of you do like sober months or like break, like specific You know what's break? funny? I feel like we've talked a lot about like substance use for me, and I feel like I have a lot of stories surrounding it, so it must seem like I'm just some, like, I mean, it may, Correct me if I'm wrong, because this seems very I don't, superficial. I don't personally see you as someone who does a lot of drugs, just to be clear. Yeah. I do. Maybe, maybe Ben <laughs> does or something. I don't know. Honestly, though, I'm a mostly sober individual. Like, I drink alcohol, like, once a week, maybe once every other week. Yeah. Um, I drink, like, any other substances, like, maybe once or twice a month. That's about it. I Are you do, proud of yourself, Zach? I do, like... Um, Coffee, like uh, caffeine, and ooh, yeah, maybe some a, nicotine a products, a that little a bit too much. But yeah, it's okay it's because Andrew it. Tate drinks twelve coffees a day. So you know what? Okay I don't like Tate. myself anymore. I'm gonna go get a drink. You've made All me right. feel self conscious. I'm gonna go get a drink. I don't like myself. You know what I like about Andrew Tate? Tell me. What do you like about Andrew Tate? Big ass. I- I actually, right. unironically, Andrew Tate has made me like think about a bunch of. I forget the uh, like sexism and racism, or I don't, I don't even think he's. I don't know. Unproven, it's alleged. It's alleged For, now. Forget all the know. rape and sex ac- accusations. He actually said. So, I think I've said this before. Like he was saying that he and his brother were dirt poor, and then they spent like a week doing nothing but talking about how to make money, and like that's how they got into the casino business. That's how they got into the sex cam industry or whatever. And he he was doing this live stream and goes, when was the last time you and your friends actually talked about money? And he's like, that's why you're fucking poor. And I was like, that kind of makes a lot of sense. Like, if I just, like, come into Discord, you know, with all due respect to Barney and Joe and whatnot, like, if I just come in and just all I'm doing is ranting about this, that kind of, that's sort of what sparked the 30 days of content thing. If I just start, like, ran, ranting about how much I hate fucking hate like, you know what I mean? Like it's not doing anything and I'm not like actively pursuing something outside of work. I'm confused. What the connection is between the Andrew Tate thing and this. Um, I don't, he did. Oh, the well, book. Oh, Oh, uh, Tristan brought up Andrew Tate just as like a bit. And so I was like, I actually, there is one thing that I like about Andrew Tate. One thing that I do appreciate about him is that he was like fairly honest about how he made money until now. Now he has to deny everything. Cause he actually did yeah. sex traffic. Well, like he literally, literally is like, yeah, I would tell women that I would marry them, and then they'd get to Romania, and I would tell them they'd have to work as a sex worker. And it's like, oh, so that <laughs> that is sex trafficking. Yeah. Right? That's but, the legal uh, term definition. But uh, apart from that, I liked that he was fairly open about like what it takes because it does take a lot to earn money. Like if you want to be a millionaire or something, there is a substantial amount of effort that you have to put in even if it's just being like an XQC at first or whatever. Obviously XQC does not have to work that hard now. Yeah. Right. But he yeah, probably but did. He it. worked the grunt work of doing it for fucking eight years. Yeah. 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 Ex- uh, yeah. He exactly. Him, so. Well, I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't think uh, people from his ethnicity should get that. I don't, uh, like thinking about work or money because it gives me anxiety. So I yeah, don't talk okay, about so, uh, it. So uh, this is like a, something, it. this is something that I actually really appreciate about you. Because, like, you are actually seemingly content. I mean, you might be, you might not be, you might have a different opinion about that. But I, like, I don't necessarily want money. What I want is, like, freedom. And I don't have that because of all the student loans that I have. Yeah, you I was going to say that. that. That's, that's, that's what's chasing you as a student loan. Yeah, yeah. Like, Welcome no, to I, capitalist society. Welcome to the game, buddy. This like, is like, if, right. if my student loans were erased, 
I, I'm, I, I know it's hard to say, but like, I'm pretty sure that I wouldn't care much about. Like the thought process yeah. happens when is you're being like, what is, what is exactly when my, my supervisor, when my supervisor starts like oh. getting on my ass, I'm like, I cannot quit this job. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I don't yeah. have the freedom to leave and do what I want to do because I have too much student loans. Right? But if I yeah. didn't have my student loans, Haley, Haley literally was like, Hey, if you didn't have any debt, you could like work at target. And I'm like, bitch, if I didn't have any debt, I'd be like, door dashing and jacking off on camera or something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. You should, I mean, how much debt do you have? Do you mind if we get into that? Uh, I have like over a hundred thousand dollars of debt. Okay. Well, if you're in that much fucking debt, I would, what is the interest percentage? Do you have, do you know? It's like that 11%. Is? You're getting your ass sl- <laughs> yeah. slammed. Yeah. Yeah. You should be working DoorDash on the free time you have to just be paying that off. Like well, you should. What, uh, you, you're saying my, I should stop making content and just work DoorDash. Yes. Like this oh. is that's so much. <laughs> I mean, no. You need to just be spending a lot. You need to be spending a lot more time uh, trying to no. pay that off. I mean, no. or you can go the route where you're like, "Hey, I don't give a fuck. Let this go to collections, and then like I won't be able to own anything the rest of my life." But then you want you say like, "I want to be free," and being free is owning the things you have. So it's like that's why I always got that's why I got into investments and stuff like that. Well, how much do you have investments? I don't even want to. We don't even have to talk about it. I have like two or three. Th- well, I used to have like 10K, but I withdrew drew all that. Yes, so now we talked I'll, about it. I yeah, remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So now I only have like a, hun- a thousand or two thousand. I'd have to yeah. check. But that's crazy. What's what school did you go to? All right. The problem, the problem is my parents. Uh, liked it, liked it. They wanted to pretend that they like knew what was best and understood like the math of stuff. I don't think my parents actually understood the money that they were spending or they were so convinced that like this was the best decision for me that they were like, fuck it. He'll make the money back. I I cannot tell with my parents if they were like illiterate financially or like deluded mentally. How much did you have? it? I mean, because I think I assume your student loans only went up because that's kind of how they work. right? Okay, so I I originally had two hundred and ten thousand dollars of student loan debt. And then okay. uh, Weren't they delayed because of Joe Biden's thing. And then now they're coming yeah, back. Yeah, but then I, I refinanced them and gave half to my parents. Interesting. Okay. So, so you own 50,000 now? <laughs> no, 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 no. I had two. I had, I had two. Zach, shut up. Zach, shut up. You got to shut up. This is great. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a fucking. Classic. I think that. Let me think. Um, the the, the oh timing could have, could have been worse. He's talking about his, his the, the fear the, the fear of student loan debt. His hundred thousand dollars <laughs> in student loan debt. No, 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 no it, was, it was it was one hundred and eighty thousand dollars total, and I split that with my parents. And it's still at eleven percent interest for how long? Yeah. Well, okay, okay. So my right my my credit has gotten better. So I'm I'm in the process of like calling to see uh, fielding refinance things to get that that interest rate down. Part of the problem is, Ben, you're actually going to have to censor this because I think this is a felony. <laughs> so that's my suicide story. Do not. Wait, do so it. Sean, you might know more than this than me. Were my student loans not forgiven? No, they're not. You got to pay them, bitch, and do it through SoFi so that is I can it make still some like, more money. Is it still wait, like. Wait, 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 wait. What do you have to limbo? do with SoFi? I don't know. Well, it's, it's not. It's not delayed at all. In fact, uh, you should. They start have the lowest us. percentage, I think. Uh, that no, but you why? Get. Why did you say SoFi? Well, it's because I have spreads on SoFi, and I want to make some more uh, money. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So. No, actually, Good SoFi, and plus they're the number one holder for student loan debt. Shut so the fuck like up. The shut the. Actually, no. I went to community college. Me too, and I dropped out. Oh, I didn't. I, I kind of. I, I might as well dropped debt. out. I I've been to both. <laughs> I've been to four both community college years. and normal I college, got, and I, I don't have a degree. Co- I should have taken a year, a gap year or something, but who the fuck cares? You know? Look, guys, I went to That's regular college and dropped out. I went to community college and dropped out, and now I make decent money, and I didn't use We live in thing. Arizona. You went to like Arizona State and just fucking got drunk as fuck all day. Is that not what nope. happened? Not what happened. Where, 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 get, where did you go to school? Do I I'm know that? Gentrifying you. I went to school in Northern Arizona University. I'm gentrifying you. Be, de, 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 de. Now you're a woman. Fun fact: Michael Reeves uh, also went to Northern Arizona University yes, around I the same I time I that. went there. So there's a chance. Yeah, we he went also, to I think he's a year older, younger than you. Yeah, but I was there for like a full year. I don't know. One year, hmm. one full year. <laughs> Yo, how's Adam Good doing? Good job. Ben? That's better than me. I went to community college for five years. What? 
My uh, Adam, uh, I, today I went to McDonald's. This is actually one of the tragic stories I want to. He looks know. thinner. He looks like he's lost some weight. Yeah, he lost. He's losing too much weight. Actually, funny enough. Um, but I, I went to McDonald's and I because I, I was going to get the Red Bull and I was like I might as well get food while I'm out there because I'm McDonald's hungry. McDonald's for a Red Bull. I went to McDonald. Well, I went to McDonald's on the way to get my the Red Bull. Logic leaps. I'm sick of it. And then there are no logic leaps, bro. I'm just getting my Red Bull and my McDonald's. There's no continuity. Okay. Okay. We, we need a continuity magic. We need a continuity magic with the show. We're gonna McDonald's for uh, a Red Bull. Get the fuck out I of here. I went to McDonald's for the Red Bull. Guys, and please cut it out. There was Albertson's <laughs> firm at Gangbang. There was a yes for the for the for the Albertson man McGangbang, and um, uh, I went there and I reordered on the mobile app my, my last order, and that was an order that was for me and my brother by accident. And I saw that it was more money than my normal order, and I was like, eh, maybe the prices went up. And I, they, I got my I got my brother's twenty piece nugget. And I didn't mean to, so I gave it to him. Nice. And he had Hoggers diarrhea. Chat. In nah, chat. maybe he'll he'll get a little heavier. Yeah, he 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 was fat. And then um, I think he hit like 250 and then he was like, I don't want to do this. And now he's like 200. <laughs> yeah. He's, um, he's I, saw, I saw a video of him on Instagram and I was like, holy fuck. Like, is he OK? <laughs> I mean, he's, he's, he's still, very, he's very he's still thin. strong, but like he looks yeah. way thinner than I remember. And I was like, he looks hey. really funny because his body is small, but his he's arms turning are big. from a bottom to a top is what you're saying. Can I, can I just... from, the, from the bottom to the top. The core here yeah, yeah, for yeah. the guy. And your brother's got a your dying brother. Thought. Ben, your dying brother's got a fat ass. Is that Ben's what we're trying to say? Always talks about brother? Ben's brother always talks about my ass. It's pretty cute. So yeah. I have two brothers. I don't know if you mean dying as in cancer or dying as in is too thin. I, was, I, I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> But when he said well, your dying I didn't brother, think about I was like, that. I meant, I meant like your atrophying <laughs> brother. Like he's losing too much weight. Like I was I, genuinely I, I, trying I was like, to. He knows about this. Chris, the current <laughs> brother. I, I do know about that because we talked about, about it last yeah. episode, or was it the episode before? It was, it was last episode. Yeah. No, it wasn't because I already made a short about it. So it was two episodes ago. No, it was right. a third episode ago. Oh, facts and logic. Anyways, um, what did you guys, say? <laughs> This is a story all about how my life. Um, guys, <laughs> I think this. I think I have a problem. I know how I just said I'm mostly sober now. A little bit earlier, I'm realizing I feel so much better after like a quarter of a beer. Is that weird? Like I feel like no. genuinely well, wait, better. Wait, 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 like wait, wait, wait. What's your what's your what's your beer strength you're going at? Because mine is um, uh, five point three percent. I got a Feather Edge IPA that's clocking it at a six point five. Oh, I forgot. Percentage. I turned off autofocus, ABV. so if I put it too close, it's just gonna blur. But Dude, you get you the got idea. Six point five. That's nothing, bro. Yeah, Whoa, I know. Fucking little. Bitch I could go downstairs boy. and you know get fifteen percent if you want. Yeah, I got Bing some bop. crazy shit right here. Now, that Whatever that Pacifico mo- is. That shit. Oh, Ben. Oh, like 18%. Ben. percent Oh, Ben. Last episode, I also told you I was going to send you a video of the fancy bottle beer I got, and I didn't send it to you, right? Doesn't that have I didn't render the it? video. You can send it to me. Can you guys make a Christmas song? Should I run song? downstairs right now and take a video of it? Yes, do it right now. Wait, Dude, Zach ben. is all over his house today. I'm going to go get a seltzer water, okay? Ben, you guys okay, let with me that? talk to you. Yes, okay. get out yeah, of you, here. you and Tristan talk to each other. Okay. I love talking ben, to Tristan. Listen, I Go love ahead. you too. Ben, listen. Christmas song. Regurgitated Christmas song. Okay, hear me out here. We he get a Christmas hang song. Just, he did this he did this last episode. He has such a big dick. You can see it yeah. hanging there. Oh, can you actually see my penis? Yeah, yeah, because the hole, I can see the penis in your pants. Oh shit. Now it's getting even better, bro. That's a dumper. It does take a lot of little dumps. Yeah, yeah, all right. He's acting yeah, like you, a cat. <laughs> what are you doing? Just definitely hang yourself and don't even know for your girlfriend. Let, her, let it let it be a mystery for her for the rest and of the life. And then you guys are still talking, and I'm actually dead, swinging yeah, from the yeah, ceiling. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, "What's going on?" And then you guys are just like laughing in the background while I'm. The yeah. first episode, I think the first like ten seconds of the first episode, Sean acted like he was hanging himself, like he was kicking the chair from under him. Yeah, I'm gonna do it one of these days. It's gonna be uh, not funny because I'll be actually dead, and you guys will miss me. Well, that'll be a choice that you make, and I hope that. Sayonara, I love you. All right, I'll be I'll be actually right back. All right, Tristan, go ahead. Christmas song, ho ho ho, regurgitated ho. That's the chorus. 
Oh, okay, ho, no, wait, wait, wait. Let's... Regurgitated ho. Hated ho. Go, ho, ho, ho. Regurgitated ho. ho. I'm so on a then... Christmas. Well, imagine like Beastie Boys style rapping over like this Christmas beat. It's like, I'm on the Christmas train, you know, and it's like, oh, uh, shit. And uh, okay, I'll get first, first. You get second, yes, Zach gets third. Yes, that would be so sick. And then Ben could do like, I mean, no, no, Sean could do the ad libs. We're like, I'm on a Christmas tree. You bang it out the halls. You know, then that, Sean dude, that goes the crazy. That would a, be Christmas, sick. a Christmas carol, the regurgitated Christmas carol would go nuts. And then, if, speaking and, of that, actually, oh, I was, I listened to Ice Coffee. I had to listen to Ice Coffee about 10 times uh, because <laughs> no. I was editing it, obviously. <laughs> oh, yes. That yeah. song kind of bangs. Oh, no, it doesn't bang. It fucking slaps my eye. I like eye, it. You know I, mean? I like the song. <sighs> you guys it's, better it's not have made right. a it fun. joke behind my back again like Bro, last Zach. time. We're going to make a Christmas carol, Zach. We're going to make a Christmas carol. And <laughs> wait, listen, wait, listen like, here's my like pitch. Like the movie? Like the Christmas carol movie? Yes, where we're you... going to shot for shot. Christmas carol regurgitated. We're the... Imagine is okay. We fired imagine, Sean, everyone. <laughs> okay, imagine is a Christmas song, and it's like ho ho ho, regurgitated ho, and imagine like a Beastie Boys style rap Christmas song, and it's like I'm on the Christmas tree, going to the store, buying all the cookies. You know, you know what I mean. You've heard the Beastie Boys. You're not that young. Come on. Yeah, if someone, if teenagers showed up to my door doing that, I would call the police. No, we're not. It's not going to be a Christmas Carol. It's going to be a song that we just make. And then maybe we'll shoot his video. So then why did you intro this as we're going to make a Christmas carol? Did I say no, I'm that? Saying, I, I said that. Christmas carol. I said Christmas carol. I said Christmas carol. Okay. Oh, okay. I guess well, a carol okay, is okay. like a door-to-door thing, right? I, I, yeah, I'm wrong. I'm well, wrong. maybe wrong. we can do that once it gets so popular and it's sung one worldwide. Oh, we go to like just some random neighborhood and we go, you ro ho ho regurgitated ho. ho. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, then yeah, so yeah. Tristan's idea is just we make a rap song. Yep. Okay, I mean, yeah, you can boil it down to that, but you don't have to be so fucking mean about it. I was yes, rapping on the, I was rapping uh, no, in the Tristan's car on the way home to today. Put words that rhyme on paper. Sean, your mic, mic is, you. your mic is just not true. I can't even hear it at this point. It's a very low. It's very I, low. I turned, I turned his mic down a little bit, but I don't think that's what's causing this. Ah, how about that? I think it might be the people who are running the media and me and you could both see who's doing that. (laughs) Tristan's eye is a fucking kite. Look at them eyes, bro. No, no, that's just genetics. That has nothing to do with the fact that that's just genetics. genetics. (laughs) What the fuck do you mean? Officer, officer, it's genetics, bro. It's just genetics. I I smell like alcohol all the time. It's, yeah. Yes, alcohol. That's what I smell like. You're trying to yell. I'm trying to figure out what microphone, if he's on the okay, right microphone. Right. I should be, it says blue snowball. Hold on. Mic one, up. two. Check out the stool of a goose tape. Oh, you're right. It's just quiet. I don't know. Yeah, but it, I have output volume set to 100%. So, is your input volume set to 100%? Oh, I'm, I'm actually retarded. Got the rim light. Like, I'm looking like Zach. I'm like, so I love working for my guy. Editing's great. Love everything about my job. I wish that's Thank how you. I sound. That's, oh exactly how he sounds. That's, that's exactly, exactly how Zach sounds. Okay, Dude, I'm, about to I'm yes! straight back. Yes! 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 I lost all of my money gambling. <laughs> uh, that's okay, because um, you can make more. Welcome to capitalist society, bitch. Technically, if you keep doubling down, there's no way to lose. Until you but run they out have of limits. Money. They fuck you. They fuck yeah. you. House always wins. <clears throat> Did you know Blackjack is actually not a skill-based game? <laughs> yeah. We've no, been no. over this, buddy. If anyone watches actually? this show and still believe that Blackjack is a skill-based game, get the fuck out of my way, bro. People are only watching for our gambling tips, okay? They're only here because we have gambling tips. I'm only tips. here for gambling. Never mind. What, what are you gambling? Balls. What are you gambling? Vegan cheese. Okay, just making sure. That, that looks like a leaf. Cheese made that, out that of. looks like a leaf that you're eating, my dude. That does not look like cheese. Tell me that doesn't look like cheese. It looks like Louisiana. Aged. What I is vegan cheese it's... made out of? Lettuce wrap huh. and mm. soy um, proteins. This one is uh... alfalfa sprouts. Cali oh, fantastic. Yeah, shocker, bro. Shocker, fantastic. Bro. fantastic. I, I just read all that backwards. Lifestyle. Welcome to the vegan lifestyle. Fucking amateurs. Come on, shock on it. I bet you won't. Because it's a 7% it's IPA. Wait, is, he a, gonna, is he going to do it? This is a 7% Polar Springs. 
That's a water. Ten percent what? Okay. Yeah, I'm, gonna start, I'm gonna start surfing and it'd be instantly better than Tristan. At oh surfing. wait, Ben, this Probably is the thumbnail for the show, not, bitch. We should That's all a really up. good thumbnail. That's a good one. Hey, Tristan, just, and, and then I'll do the cocoa one, and then we'll all be our own. No, just white. <laughs> oh, hold on. This will this will dox me. Because Oh, well, you just... Well, they didn't okay. know that. They didn't know that, and then now you just yeah, said you that. Just, you so just we're not cutting yourself. that part. We're, yeah. we're just going to blur the screen. No, Tristan's know, camera's off. Or, is it? No, it's on. I see it. It's just it's a, it's, a, oh. it's a connection thing. Oh. Uh, Zach. Ben. I want to talk. I want to go back to what you were wow, talking about, about you, you drinking and feeling instantly better. Mm-hmm. What was going on, Zach? Were you just not in the mood? No, it wasn't that I wasn't in the mood. My brain just wasn't, you know what I mean? Like, I just felt like like I wasn't. You don't love me anymore? I just felt like I wasn't. um, I don't know. I just was like, just getting off of work. You know what I mean? And I'm like, all right, I'm trying to switch gears. You know what I mean? I'm trying to switch gears to be Mr. Funny Guy for the show. And it's just like, you know, it was was going fine. But I, I, I was feeling disappointed in my performance earlier in this episode. Um, and not that I was going to get a beer because of that, but it just sounded nice when Sean said it. So, you know, I went downstairs and grabbed this little Alaskan white that my parents picked up. They're very kind of me to let me drink that as well. And, um, I don't know, like I drank just not even half of it, just a little bit of it. And I was instantly like, you know what? I'm here. Well, I'm happy you're feeling more present. Do you think it hits you that fast? Or do you think it's like a... I'm a pretty big lightweight these days. I'm, um, uh, alcoholic, I think, (laughs) No, I, I, I seriously, I, I don't have, I, I, I don't think I'm actually an alcoholic. I think I just drink such strong beer that like my tolerance, my tolerance is high. Honestly, I'm, I'm a bit of a, a, a pushover right now when it comes to alcohol. Like when I was younger, I used to drink like a motherfucker. Like, like I would, when I, I know I just said this wasn't why I dropped out of college, but when I was in college, I, could <laughs> I knew it. drink Sorry. a lot. Like I could drink like half a handle of something. Like it was a lot. Um, is that and a now, like, like a beer or two, and I'm not like drunk, drunk, but like I'm there. I'm, yeah, you know what I mean. You like, can't I'm, drive. Yeah, yeah. like I, I'm, I'm like a two beer kind of guy right now. I could. I'm kind of honest with you. I, could drive. I mean, I could definitely drive after a beer. No, after like three or four, probably I could drive. We should have a competition for regurgitated where we see I, how many okay, beers. Okay. We can That's, how we the news. That's how you get on the news. I know you. I know you just made a joke, but like I have unironically wanted to like do a standardized test to see how many beers I could have before my actual impairment like supersedes my ability to drive. I wonder if there's I a place that'll let us test that, like yeah, a closed you, like, range. Desert, you desert, safely desert, test desert, that? Desert, the desert, the desert. Yeah, but that's not, like desert, real dri- that's not like a real driving thing. No, no, we just go to the desert, super open playing field, no one's there. We give you but two beers, sand. you drink it, and then you drive. Yeah, there's cars that can drive on sand, dog. It's not like... Not like desert, desert stuff. There's like salt desert. But, okay, like, but my my conception is that like, okay, what if I'm drinking and Haley texts me that she needs to, me to pick her up? Like, okay. what is the... I want to do a standardized test for see well, how good fuck, I'm driving. You're never going to do anything ever in your life because you're always going to think something might fucking happen because then you'll fucking do it. Okay, that's all I'm saying. My, my, my I, actually, I, it's funny because my mom had you, the Tristan. same reason for not drinking for like 10 years after I was born. My, my, I think my younger brother was born. Really? I would have figured having you would have made her drink more. Look at the, I have no ears on my head. I want no, to do a standardized test. Perfect. Where are my baby's ears? I, do I want to do a. St- I want to do a standardized test to see how well I can get roadhead and drive. I had another challenge. Oh, I think mixing the two things we were just talking about, getting head and which one of us can get get Zach to come the quickest while he's driving. <laughs> 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 and we have to do it on like a little race course. Ben's like, he's, Ben's like he didn't know this about me. I have extra stretchy ears or nose holes. Here's a hack. Here's a hack. <laughs> My nose is tighter. It'll make him come quicker. <laughs> Life hack. Five okay, easy ways. That. Five unexpected oh, are you ways. Your dick in my nose? <laughs> yeah, that's the joke. Know. That's the joke. I have, Sean likes I, it in his ear. I don't like that joke. Five, ten your dick unexpected ways to get your man off. Imagine, Number seven. Okay, imagine this up challenge. The nose. Trying every gas store boner pill to see which one gets me the hardest. And then at the okay. end, just like our funny drinks video, Ben, no, no, no. just put them all in one <laughs> glass and drink all the boner yeah, pills bon- at yeah, once. Until, do that, yeah. Boner pill tier. Boner. But well, you have to chew your pill. dick. That's the thing. Boner pill tier list. Boner pier. I would chew my dick speak. for that. Maybe you should. I wouldn't. T- boner pill tier. Boner, boner tier, pill. Tier gas boner station list. boner pill tier list. Or hear me out. <clears throat> We all get together for regurgitated live and we do boner pill roulette where we spin the it would wheel. Be, 
and whoever. <laughs> That's a it good would one. Go, it would go kind of crazy for the big four to do regurgitated live, like IRL. Ben, was I dreaming when I said that you were going to come out to Phoenix at some point later this year? No, yeah, it was two days ago when I said I, I was okay. Going to for some time. reason, I thought that I just that happened in my Wait, sleep you, somewhere. Uh, you visiting like your, your aunts and uncles, or yeah, yeah, I'm I'm going to be visiting family, and and I mean I I while I'm there, I'm I'm going to hopefully be doing gratitude IRL. Sean, you should come smile. Sean, get the there's, A train, go to the B train. Come see his south, dying west. grandma. There's no way I could. Uh, wow. If there's a there's will, no there's way. way. There's no way I could do that. I can't swing that. I got work. Ooh. Pussy. Ooh, oh, yeah, 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 you're, talking about, you're talking about living free, Sean. Live free in Arizona yeah, with me on, and the boys. Never, homeless, never look like back. All of us. I never look back until we go back. <laughs> I have a wife. <laughs> Did you marry her? I don't see no. where the, where's your ring. I think, I think we need a fourth on your penis. That doesn't count. What do you mean we need? A, what do you mean we need a fourth? I think I want to have. I think I want to have four. If we're gonna do an IRL podcast, I think yeah, I, I want to hire. Like a little <laughs> Hispanic man from Home Depot. A yeah. random fucking Craigslist dude from Phoenix, wait, wait, Arizona. You're all, yeah. all going to be in Phoenix in two weeks? Yes, tomorrow, actually. We're flying tonight. <laughs> no, we <laughs> don't, we don't have a date. Two weeks? Come on. Wait, well, then I'm, I'm confused because you were just talking Tristan about going to Phoenix. Tristan will be here twice, maybe. No, maybe. wait. Why are you saying a fourth then? Because we want you to be there. That's what we're saying. Yeah. Okay, I want, but you, to, I want, I want been, you to be there, you but if you're not going to be there. No, but you said in two weeks. When was it two, it was in two weeks? Who said two weeks? Did I say two weeks? I didn't Did you guys remember. not Run say? It back. Play it back. Play it okay. back. I don't, okay. I don't think I said that. No, play the whole podcast from the beginning. He said he's gonna know, wait, the beginning wait. Zach point. said he was going to be there two times. I don't fucking care. Um, okay. I would make it to Arizona. If we, if we had like a solid plan, like months and months in advance, I could do that. What about That's weeks? What we're what planning. Do do, like, I, I'm like days. super, I'm like super afraid of planes though. So I would have to like drive. How many sick days you got at your job? You're not really? going to drive to You're Arizona. Drive get to yeah. Arizona for a one like day thing for a podcast. Yes, he's no. dedicated. <laughs> you goofy guy. I, you know? I hate I hate flying, bro. It's like I feel you on that. We need, we need the than, equipment though, like mics and stuff. Yeah, oh, Sean well, could be all, the equipment mule. We'll rob the audio store and it'll give us more content. <laughs> Would be like a high I mean, studio. Robbie, the, I mean, I, I'm hoping to have a laptop soon so we can record audio on, through to my laptop. But or, or well, we could I would do actually labs. be really happy. So Tristan and I will probably. So Tristan is doing a cross country trip, and when he comes here, I think we're going to try to do something. We'll see. Yeah. Um, but I will kind of treat it like a test run for Mr. President. Mr. President, Why Mr. President, Mr. President, are you touching that young lady with your two hands, Mr. President? Are you homosexual, Mr. President? Sorry. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about there. Sorry. Absolutely. How expensive is to, is it to rent rent it's probably not rent camera and microphone equipment? Well, microphone? I'm, I'm cheap, probably. No. I, I'm getting around to that. So, I, what I was going to say was, I'd be thankful to have been there to have an actual audio file. <laughs> um, that's the first file you've been accused of. That's maybe positive. another pedophile. Um, oh, I was getting the same thing. Sorry, I was continuing to catch um, up. An pedophile. actual. <laughs> <laughs> an actual audiophobe or not phobe that doesn't make sense an I'm audio lover no, he's a homophobe yeah. <laughs> an actual audio lover a there a homophobic pedophile who likes audio <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait 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 are you a gay kid oh get the fuck away from me <laughs> what I need diarrhea this is purely oh, a power thing he said um, I'm very happy the- to have an arachnophobe in the studio who uh, Ooh, what's um, that? loves audio equipment you that is there to the audio of side of things. Um, <laughs> right. That's the name Sean. We, Tr- Tristan, Tristan has a good camera. He has a good camera, right, Tristan? <laughs> yeah, I got a, it's called a Logitech 1080p, you guys can see. Okay. You guys, the HD so Tristan quality, has a Logitech right 1080p, and then we'll rent a nice camera uh, shortly after that. We have a, there's a ghost. It's a, wait. Was that Michael Jackson that just came in here? Michael J. Fox? Uh, Wait. You heard that? As you can see. That's that's a crazy angle. I can't mute my phone. (laughs) (laughs) I can't, mute, I can't mute my phone. I can't mute my phone. 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 Dude, this is like That's a... Cool. Anyway, sorry about that. It was weird. Um, yeah, but I'm really... <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's a POV game on my dick. <laughs> a 
put on my beer, so it's better. I can actually drink. When your beer has a GoPro, I, I'm <laughs> I'm really excited to do IRL. Uh, I, I'm excited to just hug oh, you guys. I was um I was actually talking to Tristan sort of about this. Like, I, I actually do have a few ideas to do shit with my green screen, but I absolutely need someone. With your what? With your green screen? <laughs> Why do you yell? <laughs> Why do you yell? Wait, so say wait. Why'd you yell, Zach? Why'd you do that? We're my queen queen. We're the queen queen. That's mean. That's mean. I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's okay. That, that was funny, Zach. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> you asked me to do it again. I just laughed, and you were like, "Why are you just going to?" You made Such me do it. I was just going to let it be. Ahead. I was just going to make a little reaction noise oh, and move on, you. and let and oh, let Sean do it. No, no, this is your fault. No, oh, because 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 Sean sounded like a fucking dumbass, and then I made a little reaction noise to it, and I was just going to let it move on and be nothing, and let him leave with dignity. And then you were like, "Why did you scream, Zach?" Okay, well now I got to make fun of him. <laughs> Go ahead, Sean, what are you saying? Uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was saying I have a green screen. And, well, say uh, it the right way. You said it the wrong way. You didn't say it right. Okay, go. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I was finding that I don't really have a good tripod for my uh, my Guopo. And uh, yeah, I'm being a part of the joke now, right? You guys like me still? <laughs> I don't know. No, you said you were, I said I think, you're getting think... us to do work quid pro pro. <laughs> yeah. What? That's like a Star Wars fucking name. I don't even nope, know. That's a real word. No, quid <laughs> pro quo. Yeah, that's a thing. Quid yeah, pro that's, uh, quo. He's like a master Jedi. Yeah. Yeah. Right that's, that's the currency British people use. That's what you call a British banker's quid pro quo pro. Uh, propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> quid pro. See, now, dude, Zach, pro. Zach we're, we, I understand your joke now. Yeah. You're saying, because quid is money, pro <laughs> is a professional. Quo is is a Quoted. if you have roticism, that's a bird that goes caw, caw. A quid pro quo is what you call a British banker's quote in a mortgage. Where's the T? You missed a T. Sorry, yes, and, and just a quote. Any kind of general quote a British banker might give you is a quid pro quo. Yes, yes. and yes, and we hate gay people. Yes, and My Sean, all right, it's been nice knowing it. you. I got a job. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so Sean, uh, I think any ultimately someday we will have a studio where I get to like throw ping pong balls at Ben. So here's the idea. Yes, that's the that's the hope. Um, so the great way hope. The great way hope is that um, Sean, what we can do is we if you come to Arizona, we'll rent we'll rent to set. <laughs> Dude, Tristan looks so funny. She said, <laughs> I don't know how you did that. What the fuck? Hold on, hold on. You gotta lean really far back. You gotta put your hands back. I just I just went to the gym to do weightlifting for the first time in over a year yesterday and my arm like extending my arms like actually hurt. So Sean did it so good. Uh. Okay, this is really a podcast oh for God, babies ben again. Ben did it, Ben did it, Ben did it, Ben did it. I don't have, I don't have anywhere near enough room. Oh. I'm like, I'm like touching my back wall. <laughs> In a New York City little like closet apartment. Well, his, dude, his his closet, his little closet room is very small. Ooh. Like it is like not much yeah, further. Oh, there's my clothes. Oh, that makes and, sense. Why you're gay? All right. <laughs> Sorry, that was just um, two on the two on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a turtle it got put upside down. <laughs> um, I wonder so, if it would look that funny with my penis out. <laughs> you make it look bigger. Um, so I, I was thinking. I was thinking. 
you bring your <laughs> you bring your green your green screen, Sean, and your GoPro, <laughs> and you can record yourself in front of the green screen, and you, uh, you can be part of the pod, pod quest. Here's what you do. Okay, that's, that's a good idea. I have another. Sean can idea pre-record though. something, and then we could be like, and now for the Sean hologram. No, would it be cool? Tell me if this would be cool or cringe. If we still had Riverside open when we were doing regurgitated IRL, so it was us in person. With a laptop and someone, with a camera pointed at it. Yeah. That would be dope. Do that. Extra that footage that is always fit good. The, fit the, you know. It, it will start like that. That's an A. That's a B flat. Where is bro playing an A and this a B This isn't flat? fucking music class. What is going on? Bring out the automaton. Oh, my, it's dead. Is that how you hack your drive through mechanics? Bro, I had the automaton on standby. <laughs> Right here, it's on a hook. Wait, listen, okay, Sean, what if you we did the live thing, you drove oh. out, made a series it's on like your e YouTube flat. channel, Goo GoPro, recording yourself doing a travel across America to do a live podcast, make it a series, make some videos, get like some views. Delayed. And plus delayed. I am uh, uh, terrified. So I I'm terrified of play, planes. Well, so right, well, you, you talked about that last episode. I I didn't think it was how terrified are we talking? Like, I mean, I, I'll get on the plane, but I'm, I'm positive for the next two hours, I'll, like, I'll be dead. Why? Is it because you might sit next to someone with a darker skin than you? Or? <laughs> <laughs> no, they weed those people out through TSA. It's okay. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. He's sitting no, first I, class, obviously. I just feel like the, the... Okay, actually, this is probably a good... Th- you guys are completely normal. Like, re- like, like I actually have a serious like uh, hypochondria problem. When you're on a you plane, you talked about this last episode. You you talk about how like you the air pressure and everything. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys not feel, feel the difference, or do you actually you do feel like no. it's a little more pressure in your face or anything? No. Yeah, you definitely get pressurized. What? Definitely. I, I also don't. I haven't gone on a plane in like ten years, so I don't know. I don't know what the fuck Tristan's doing. But no, I, last time I, I don't remember feeling that feeling. I I feel like it feels everything is like is more swollen, and I feel like I'm not being able to breathe properly. So it's a very what physical. The, what's the problem with a plane? I don't know. It's a very physical thing. It's a, I, it's in my mind. What happens is I'm like, if I have an asthma attack, I can't ask them to land the, like, they're not going to be able to land the plane. You know what I mean? Like if you're flying over there's the ocean, stuff, there, there's stuff specifically for that. Like you, right. I don't know. Well, an asthma attack is like a spasm of the lung. So like, what if they just close over and then I can't get air anyway? So you're always on edge specifically in a plane because you're worried that you're going to have an asthma attack and nobody's going to be able to help you. Yeah, yeah. What well, you know they bring air on the plane, right? That's not what an asthma attack. An asthma attack is like a spasm of the So, but if you as long as you have your inhaler and the thing that comes down that helps you breathe, you should be fine, I would think. Just I, bring a cigarette, you you'll be fine. Just smoke just smoke the asthma <laughs> attack <laughs> away. <laughs> Calms you down. Um, <clears throat> that's an interesting issue. I I I it's autism for sure, but I think it's a is it autism? It's it's definitely OCD. It's not. Autism. I was so I was I was talking to my mom today about. I thought I think my old man has autism, but she says he doesn't. And I'm like, well, those things. Like he, <laughs> everyone has autism. I, I, what are we doing? I think every. So I don't think there's anybody on a zero on the spectrum of autism. I don't think there's anybody that's a, a, at a zero. I don't think there's anybody on the planet that's at a zero. But besides Tristan, of course. Um, and Benjamin Franklin. I think that my dad is high on the spectrum, higher, like more than fifty percent on the spectrum. But he, my mom thinks it's only o- o- OCD. But I think yeah, OCD e. and <laughs> and I think OCD and autism blend together at some point. Am I wrong? <laughs> you know what else blends together? They definitely can. I think I think it's hard to like with with actual mental illness. It's really really difficult to like weed that out. That's why therapists exist. I don't. I, I don't. I think you. I mean, the thing about hypochondria is that it's like mostly like it's mostly illogical, but you can't convince yourself that it's, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's like, it's like, well, I could be like, Sean, that doesn't make brain, sense, but it, your brain goes into fight or flight. So it doesn't matter if you have a thought that's like logical. If you're like, oh, yeah. this could not happen because X, your brain's already in the, the fight or fight. Or, yeah. it's, it's not you're already feeling the nerves. It's not, yeah. should I be worried about this? It's, I am now currently panicking about this. So, yes. Um, and you would have less issues. Just pretend you were like we were. We were like, okay, yeah, Sean, drive all the way. Yeah, I would have. I would. It would be a much more pleasant experience. But you, you could die in a car crash. 
I'm not trying to Which add, I'm not trying to add yeah, hypochondria to your hypochondria, but yeah, but that's why it's not logical, right? Okay, well, you should realize that it's not logical and then get over your fucking. Fear. It's also inconsistent. Then it yeah. seems right. Yeah. Hmm. When you I mean, when you got I mean, when you when you sleep on a... your arm. No, I know, I know, I, I'm not, I'm not saying that. But when when you sleep on your arm and you wake up and your arm hurts, do you think you're having a heart, a heart attack? That was a pinch I had in when I was no, because in the it's office. not everything. That's kind of the thing. You know what I mean? Like it's. Is it is it central to asthma mostly? I think it depends on the situation, but yeah. Yeah. It's where it's where your you know your 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 weaknesses would lie. Yeah. In, in your case, that would be asthma. Yeah, there's a there's a term in psychology. There are two terms in psychology called uh, ego syntonic and ego dystonic. Syn e- ego being your self image, not like how kind of it kind of conceptually how you see yours are, are when so, when people say ego, they mean like people are full of themselves. But ego in psychology means ego death. It's the self, right? Yeah, self, like your okay, the internal conception of who you are as a person. So syntonic is aligned with and dystonic is not aligned with. So, for instance, I had this panic attack like two or three weeks ago. And the intrusive thought was that I wasn't going to be able to go to my sister's wedding. And it's kind of funny because like that's dystonic because normally I don't give a fuck about my sister. Mm-hmm. But like I had this panic attack that I wasn't going to be able to be at my sister's wedding. And I'm like, that's a weird thought, because it's, it's such, it's so not aligned with, it's so dystonic from my ego. You know what I mean? I don't. I have no idea what you're talking about. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to grasp what you're talking about. Like, if I have like a, a personal example, but I, I, I'd, I'd have to think about that more. Yeah. No idea. Well, I'm not a therapist, so I don't want to just start. But like, these are like terms, and I am using them accurately. But I don't want to be like. Ben, when you do this, it's like this or whatever. You, you know? have uh, no, panic attacks uh, right now, please. Anybody have panic attacks due to social situations solely? Yes. For one time, I was <clears throat> might have been the weed that I was smoking. I don't know. Smoking with some chick, really hot, loved it. And I literally had to tell this chick I felt like I was going to faint. Sometimes I feel like this. It might have been just the anxiety of doing this kind of little hook up thing. But yeah, she was sitting in my car, and I'm literally like, I think I need to lay down outside and i like open the door and i get outside because i want to lay down because i feel like i'm about to faint and then i'm laying there trying to like talk to her and she's like is everything okay and i'm like yeah i'm just i'm just laying down everything's slowly up just looking yeah, at the have, stars you have to play it off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah i'm like i'm just looking at the stars oh it looks so beautiful whatever i'm like you should come lay down and she's like no i think i'm fine and i'm like yeah no you're right uh, <laughs> yeah. i'm in the worst scenario if you're yeah. like no i'm just having a panic attack right now yeah, yeah. i don't want to like make it out big as it is but no, I feel the same thing. Like, I'm a hypochondriac. Same thing with needles, bro. I go to a hospital, and I'm about to get blood drawn. I'm, like, sitting in the lobby, and all I hear are, like, kids screaming. And then I'm like, Dad, I think I need to go to the bathroom. And I stand up. My face turns white. And then as I'm walking down the hallway, I just, like, fucking go limp, and I yeah. hit the ground. <laughs> my, my dad my dad has a fear of needles and a fear of blood. Yeah. yeah. It's the same shit. You know? I'm a hypocrite, yeah. too. Yeah. I think you're just a bigot. I think we'll just full circle. Yeah, I think right it was here. a bigot was the thing bigot that we were talking, what about. We were talking about. Speaking of that, Zach, have you ever had a socially uh, a social a social panic attack? Purely, <laughs> yeah, probably. You, 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 I that's assume it, by saying answer. probably, you can't think of an example. Um, I mean, I've not been like medically diet. Well, I definitely had a panic attack in my sleep last year it was the only time i've been like medically told i've had a panic attack because i thought i was having a heart attack from like Mm. i was really stressed out at the time mostly due to work pressure and everything but i just woke up thought i had it was having a heart attack turns out it was just a panic attack um i'm sure i have like there are certain social situations where i just shut down on or internally i'm like freaking out about and i think that probably is a panic attack but i'm not like going to tell you what it is when I don't know. Like okay. I could just be socially awkward. I don't fucking know. I, 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 I avoid confrontation. As soon as confrontation from a random person comes up, I, I, I start panicking really hard. Yeah, but I'm not going to like, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I don't want to like discredit anyone's current, you know, like mental state or their own experience. But for me personally, it's like, yes, I don't want to call something a panic attack unless I know like, Medically, a doctor has told me like this is a a medical thing 
you know what I mean? That you are experiencing versus me just feeling like I'm freaking out a little bit in a social situation. Like for me, I'd, I'd want to know that before like publicly saying that, you know, not to say that you don't experience that or that I'm invalidating anything that you've gone through. That's just my personal. Do you think, do you think that you need me- uh, medical okay to tell yourself when you to, or ex- to express when you've had a, when you think you've had a panic attack? Yeah, because I feel like panic attacks are something that have been like, you know, studied that doctors can tell you like you, this is what you're experiencing. This is how your body is responding to this. And I've not done that. You know what I mean? It is purely just mm. me recognizing that I'm freaking out in a few different social situations and, you know, thinking that that could be it, but just not knowing, you know what I mean? So I'm not going to say I have a specific medical thing unless I know. Okay. Okay. Sure. I, 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 I can, I, I had one panic. At, well, I had a panic attack before I knew what a panic attack was. I was yeah. going into the I, I'm, office. I'm sure, you know, people had diabetes before they knew what diabetes were. <laughs> you know what I mean? You yeah. should have just went along with a bit, okay? You should have just kept talking about it and just pretended we didn't even yeah, know your whole life story. Yeah, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fuck up. All right. All right. We can take it part I, two. I, I, I'm sorry. We pa- all can't f- be as panicky as you. My first panic <laughs> My first panic attack was the worst panic attack I've ever had. I walked. I was. I had to confront, or not confront, My. I, I had to talk to my advisor in college. That was about your first panic attack? I was fucking up. Yeah, I, well, that I, that I can remember, I guess. But I remember my vision going like like going white, or you know, like it was like it was like my vision was was graying over. See, this is what I'm talking about. I've never experienced that in my life. Really? No. It was most. It was it was the worst one I've ever had. It was like my vision was graying over, and I walked in, and it was like I was on autopilot. Like I'm I'm generally always on autopilot, but I was like, I don't remember anything that I talked about that day. I was completely. I was like not me. Um, and then I had like a thousand panic attacks while I was working in the office uh, for my job. And then besides that, um, I'm, do you think maybe good. I'm having a panic attack right now talking to you guys trying to do this podcast? I can tell. That would go crazy. How's your heart rate? Pretty high. Live heart rate counter? Okay, Dude, we should your... get like Fitbits and track our heart rate throughout an episode. And then we'll watch gay porn and see who's the gay one. Is that how you up. tell? That's with how you heart tell heart with, the, with the heart rate. If your heart with the heart rate up. monitor? That's how you tell? That means uh, we watched this, your cock. That, Sean, we watched this weird. epic video the other day of this girl that was strapped upside down to the back of a pickup truck with a piston pumping her pussy. No. Why did you watch that? <laughs> um, you know, like sometimes you're like in one of those internet rabbit holes. When you're yeah. masturbating and your dick is out? <laughs> yeah. So, like... You I know, actually don't so, remember the context of why you brought that up. Yeah, so you know how like sometimes you get down one of those internet rabbit holes? So I googled <laughs> girl tied upside down to the back of pickup truck getting uh, having a piston fucker. So. Yes, and. Just one of those internet crazy. rabbit holes. Yes, no, but really it, it came up because I was talking to Ben and I was like, do you think anyone's ever like fucked while skydiving? And mm-hmm. so I looked up people having sex while skydiving. And all the videos I found didn't really satisfy me. But in the um, <laughs> suggested videos, that? it was a girl getting mounted upside down to the back of a pickup truck getting fucked by a piston who was being driven around a neighborhood. That Can you imagine dangerous. seeing that in your Can neighborhood, you send that Sean? Video, though? Because I'm, I'm interested in like the logistics yeah. of that. He's actually sending it to you. And that was I mean, I can. Do you want a live reaction to this video on this yeah, show? We're not, gonna, we're not going to put it up on screen, but I will send you the video. No, we're gonna need the B-roll for this one. Uh, Ben's gonna have to download that directly to his computer, and we're gonna need to put that up on. All right, Sean, I want you to. Watch I'm so happy I, to... I actually have that link on standby. I want you to. I want you to talk about what you're seeing. Okay, I'm gonna yeah, hit Sean, play. Okay. Wait, intro card. I'll send it to you. Remind me. I'll remind you. <laughs> Sean live reacts and dictates to whatever this is. Dictates? Tristan truck fuck. That's the word. To Tristan truck okay, fuck. Okay, yeah. I'm I'm getting I'm I'm starting play now. Okay, I see the truck and I see the woman. Yep. The guy saying, doing? "Are you sure you want to try this?" Yep. It's good. Like I'm What do you yeah, think Haley, this is? Haley is going to be home in like five minutes. I really hope. 
Can you lower your camera? Was the consent enthusiastic, would you say? Just to make sure that you're not messing around. <laughs> I hope okay, Haley her, walks in her. and just watches you. I hope she just walks in the background and Sean doesn't notice and she's just staring at the screen. Is she, is she that? She's that flexible. I thought they cut a hole in the truck. She really is bent. That's what I thought too. He's mesmerized. Girl, hey, no, his okay, the truck has started moving. His girlfriend's gonna come home. Oh, and be like, it's really. Is this attached to the truck in a specific way? That's her ass, not Sean, her vagina. Where did you find my college video? Oh, I'm sorry. Girl gets her ass fucked, mounted upside down on the back of a pickup truck. This Does that make you feel shit. better? <laughs> yeah. So is this is this is this set to the speed that the car is going, or is this just a separate? <laughs> if he starts going down the highway, <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> attached to the piston of the car. Oh no no, yeah, it's, it's definitely her vagina. It's not her asshole. Hey, is it? Thanks for clarifying. Yeah, I think that's her vagina. No? Yeah, that's her vagina. It's hard to tell. I'm getting thing. you scientifically breaking this down. We should remake this, but we'll put Zach on it. <laughs> she's moaning, but I can't tell if she's like in pain. <laughs> this is, um. Epic? Um, what if she hits epic. like a rock or something? Like, if she... <laughs> Yeah, what if what if what if he gets hit in the back by a uh, someone not paying attention? Some guys, me jacking off. He's <laughs> 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 an accidentally killer. Yeah, so it's a pretty good video. Uh, um, well, it's still going. So well, it has sorry. to make you feel that we'll never make content that good. Wait, That's I wouldn't let anyone it. do this to me. Tie me up on the back of your truck with a fuck machine in my ass all day, with one exception. <laughs> Wait, can we please a- wait? Can we please do a video where Sean reads the comments to this video? Do it right now. I take that bitch out on the freeway at ninety m- <laughs> miles per hour and tear that pussy up. I tried please- this in my town. Now I'm in jail. Can we please this is just how have it a- feels to chew five gum. Can we please just have a section, Ben, where comments? we read porn comments? That's just such a great idea, dude. When you surprise mm, your slut idea. with a road trip to the lake house. <laughs> Dude, these people are like probably 40 years old commenting this shit. That's the weird part. Come standard on F-250. Come standard. <laughs> Good use of the trailer hitch when not towing a trailer, I guess. <laughs> well, at least you, the most utilitarian man on X videos. Me just sitting here waiting for the thing to fall off, hee hee. But to me, it looked pretty weird and dangerous. Only because I, if I had a chance to fall off headfirst in the road then. Oh. Glad he completed his thought fully. That's right when he came, and he's like, I don't care about this message anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was jacking off as he was he's writing like, his oh, review, and he was like, like, yeah. I don't care. He just closed his laptop. This and is went beautiful to sleep and, and respect for you. Oh, yes. I also wish so. Who will do this to me? I beg. Whoever pleases me, I will be his private rag and a maid for the night or more. I am begging you on my knees. Write to me my Skype sex stream. Oh, is, it, is, it a, is it? It's like a fake. That's a it's man a from the Philippines, for sure. Oh. Ben, I would have been tied down and shown off like this. I would have oh, driven her you. straight to the closest feminist rally. <laughs> okay. Wait, hold on, there's a reply. <laughs> bro, bro, you're a fucking virgin. <laughs> I think that was Sam's... I think that was Sam. I'm so autistic. I think that was Sean's comment, sorry. Can we... Uh, ben, Sam. can you just open That's up okay, share Jason. screen and you, just uh, go read Craigslist ads? Yeah, right, misconnections, bro. Like I, got, I, got, I, got a, Miss I connections. bail so I can clean the apartment because Haley's yeah, definitely I might, have to, I might have to bail too. I'm gonna go eat dinner and maybe like not jerk off. I'm definitely not gonna jerk off. But don't Are you come. sure? Well, thank you for I'm coming, both of you, and ruining the show. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I'm gonna let this upload. All right, love you. Love, right, love you. you guys. He's actually uh, leaving. Seriously, though, I am actually leaving, and uh, you guys are killing it. I love you guys. Um, but I'll lap you in terms of viewership or whatever. Probably. Right, love you, buddy. No. Uh, what's this Mark clip button? Mic button? Cam button? Speaker button? He just starts messing. <laughs> it's ben, <laughs> Ben's face glossing over when he realizes he's going to have to edit. <laughs> it's Sean punching all the buttons. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys uh, after a few more clicks of the Mark clip. Well. What do you want to What do you want to look into? There's some interesting jobs and gigs out there. Um, 
you know, services might be interesting to um, community section might be interesting. Go down and just press on uh, gigs. That's the main gig section. Uh, scroll down slightly below jobs. Just tap on gigs. And then let's look at the most recent ones. East Windsor, Connecticut needs transmission swapped in 1990. You'll find Chevy a lot Caprice. of weird, like, I need women for so, this. Yeah, I think we should we should specifically, like, look at ones that are fucked up, like, are weird. Yeah. Right? I mean, what if this guy needs mattress moved in home? $60 to move someone's mattress in your home? That's not bad. I need a king mattress moved up one flight of stairs. That's it. Take a couple guys, 10 minutes. Pay, uh, pay I'm thinking $30 a guy. Home in Enfield. Let me know I what it is. I love how, like, casual, how fast casual this guy is writing. Like, eh, about, maybe take about 10 minutes. Pay him, take about mm, 30 bucks a guy. Let me know if you got any questions. Cool. Move how on. do you, like, contact, contact this person, though? Uh, you would go to the reply tab up top, and it would give you an uh, anonymous email address. Okay. So this, this, we're not, we're not endangering anybody by looking at this. No, actually, Craigslist does a very good job at keeping everyone anonymous. Okay. Wedding videographers wanted? Sure. Or it's who? just like a normal. Yeah, it's like a oh, normal. Yeah, that's, that's like a real thing I would apply to. Not. Uh, I, oh. Oh wait, down there, egg donor. Egg donor. Where do you see that? Oh. Okay, let's see, photographer. This, this seems like sex trafficking to me. Is that just me? No. It's not just me, or you don't think it's, it's sex I trafficking? I mean, it's, it's, it's creepily short, right? Like, it is concerning how little information is on here. But people will get gigged photography stuff off of Craigslist. That's not necessarily sure. a problem. Become a egg donor. Age between 21 and 30, you and me. Mm. No genetic diseases in the family. Fuck. How about you? Do you have any genetic diseases? I don't know, actually. You don't know if you have genetic diseases in your family? No. Not off the top of my head. I mean, I'm kind of weird, but... No history of smoking or drug use. Well, I'm good. Uh, healthy lifestyle. Never mind. <laughs> Body mass index less than 30. Kill yourself. I can't do that. What is 30? What is my BMI? You might <laughs> it's just on your tangent. Just internet rabbit holing. Honestly, I'm kind of down for it. All right, six, one, and I think I'm like, I'm like 265, 270. I don't think BMI seven. actually uses your pounds. I think do you have to like measure it. your waist level or something. I don't know, but look, I can't, I can't donate my eggs. Shit, dude, can I have your eggs? Yeah, you, I mean, you can have them. You can have any all the eggs you want me to have to needing. Scroll down, just scroll for a little bit until we find something kind of weird. Casting opportunity, looking for real couples. A long distance relationship with somebody from the USA? Yes. Hold on. Actually, you can make some money here. Has he or she traveled to visit you in your home country? Or are you making plans for the future together? Yes. Wait. Whether you have only uh, recently started a relationship or are already planning to get married, we would love to hear from you. We are currently casting from an international reality series. We're looking for it's, men and women who are in New international New Jersey to Connecticut. Yeah. If you're interested in May sharing, well you be. Need- well, I, I want to know if show casting that sharp and sharp. And yeah, they actually put their email out there. Yeah. We are that I think is actually against Craigslist TOS, but maybe I'm wrong. Journey turn in line? Nope. Thinking about meeting for the first time? Nope. Planning getting engaged? Yes. Already engaged? Nope. Uh, filing a K-1 fi- fiancé visa? I can't say I am. Settling down together with others in the home country? Yes. Wow. Eczema? Oh, you could actually probably take this one up then. Research study for moderate to severe skin conditions now enrolling. See if you're try- you or your child. Maybe you maybe can take a GERD part. study. Actually, pro- people might give you money. For that's a to- that's a great point. Honestly, a great it, point. it is very in your character to just donate your body to study. That would be funny. That would be <laughs> really, I think that would be a funny bit. If I can make content out of it, that'd be something I would actually that think would about be doing. Interesting. If anyone knows how Ben can donate his body to science while he's alive while for alive, content, yeah. uh, let us know. Uh, those who qualify may receive reimbursement for time and travel. Study related care for local doctors at no cost. Study medication at no cost. <gasps> There's no obligations here. Oh, shit, dude. I'm gonna, I am got eczema. Two kids Drive with lift. a pickup truck needed? My Why kids. do they have to be kids? That's very uncomfortable. It's also just a mini fridge. It doesn't even look and they that big. Spelled the name wrong. Meridern? It's Meridin. 
Idiot. Wait, that couch is hey. a little sus. Wait, go back. In the middle one. That that's that's massage, that's a massage table. table. I don't Two know. Kids, a massage table. This is getting weird. This is getting a little wonky. I I need a couch I, and small furniture moved from Meriden to Bristol. There's nothing heavy, but two people will need to carry the There's furniture. Those British so ass as, names for towns I've I ever know. heard. So as to maintain leverage that will uh, prevent damage and uh, to the future and walls. One or two chips to pick uh, to the future. A, a pick up truck truck. Twenty dollars per hour, bro. That's chump change. I'm sorry. Do you feel tired all day? I, yes, I, I promise you, maybe it's just the Phoenix ones or something, but I've looked on these before and it's like, girls, I need your feet. Like, just weird feet girls uh, is that only. in gigs, though? I've seen it in gigs. No. Oh. This is a 60-day study to determine the cause and effect of treating chronic muscle fatigue cases. Ah, uh, you're boring. Massage gig. Ooh. Hello, I work out daily and I'm looking to hire someone to help me with post-workout stretching and a massage for muscle soreness and stress relief. Please email with me. Please aim it. I have to. I have to control my anger. <laughs> Please email me with your interest and experience. Thanks, Tom. No problem, Tom. I got swimsuit models wanted. Bro, oh, immediately. Yeah. Here is is, is Phoenix just horny? I, I, Phoenix is a pretty horny city, I guess. Wait, I need this guy needs a producer for a detective series. Ooh, I'd love to be a producer for a detective series. I am a writer and I'm looking for a producer to produce a pilot episode that will potentially become a series. I have a 23 page script about a newly certified private investigator who tries to find her footing while trying to solve a murder. Let me know if you're interested and would like to read the script. Looking to, uh, looking to shoot one upbeat indoor outdoor swimsuit bikini photo shoot. I just said uh, you a good one. If you are an experienced female model looking to get creative and all and model, all are welcome. Different color and styles. I will provide a few suits and you have a few as well. Interest. This always feels Craigslist photography always feels like sex trafficking to me. A little wrong? bit. I, I do like the ones that just outright say it like you will be naked. Yeah. Some of them are just like it's clearly some just like dude. You know what I mean? It's clearly some like teenager. Oh, yeah. yeah. Female wanted for R plus scripted short film project. Ooh. Calling all elegant and confident women seeking older female models for, for photography photo uh, what? Seeking older female models for a photography project. Bigger. Are you a fabulous woman with a time with timeless beauty? That's crazy. I'm currently searching for older female models to collaborate on an exciting photography project that celebrates the grace and allure of women aged between thirty and fifty years old. Whether you are a seasoned model or someone looking to explore your modeling potential, I welcome you to, uh, to contact me at. You gotta censor the actual. Yep. Name. I, I, I am looking for a Latina. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for a Latina who can help me with appealing to all different demographics. I found great success in the past having uh, Latina do this with me, and it made me. What? What? <laughs> Just, it's just okay. I mean, Latina do this with me, and it made a tremendous difference overall with outreach engagement and events. Send me your five best photos, first and last name, mobile number. Would you take huh. that if you were a Latina woman? No. You wouldn't be this guy's wing woman? Is it a guy? I don't know. I would think that would be a girl. No? Here you go. This guy's really trying to sell it. This guy's really giving you a ton of information to make it seem like he's he's not... He's not doing this for porn. So these are the pictures that uh, he's in, he has an uh, he has it as example. He has an as ex, he has he has as an example. He has an as example. <laughs> Stop laughing at me, dude. <laughs> uh, hello, I'm a local photographer here, and I love pushing new and creative ideas out there in the world. I'm always trying to find a new spin on things and create something new and exciting. Well, I've been out for a bit recovering from a hand injury and during the time I've come up with other another artistic idea that I'd love to do I want to, <laughs> I want to do a take on the free the nipple <laughs> protest we see around the country you ever hurt your hand so bad that you decide to do a fun new take on the free the nipple campaign <laughs> given the current political times I think now is a perfect time to launch an entirely new series of pieces around the subject I'm looking for five different models of various ethnic age build etc uh, to put this series together, I've got very specific creative 
Spotify buy for the series of photos. So if you're interested, hit me up. Hit him up. Uh, should be a very empowering photo shoot, and I definitely think it, uh, uh, it can take the conversation to the art sphere to the next level. Please note, because this is takeoff, take on the free the nipple movement. You must be 18 plus in order to apply and be comfortable with nudity in the uh, in the finished product. <laughs> All photos will be taken in professional studio location as well as lights, camera, backgrounds, etc. And I have to censor more. It's just a unique take on the free the nipple campaign. Yeah. See, I understand. Uh, I understand that. This barista can earn up to $35 an hour. Doing what? Being a barista, I guess. That's a lot of money. I know. Maybe they get railed, too. I want to, I want to see more. I want, to, I want to find a horny person from my state. You should Google horny people near me. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. Ooh. Looking for punk girls. This is Long <laughs> Island. Looking for punk girls or goth girls with cute smelly feet for a modeling gig. There you go. This is not my state. <clears throat> now, if you were sad. a punk goth girl, would you reach out? Yeah. It would make your feet all well, stinky? There's money involved. Well, Rihanna and Drake are hiring for a music video on Craigslist. No, they're not. Looking for women with cute smelly feet for a modeling gig. I feel like that's the same thing. Male sock modeling? Hold on. Now, there now you we're, go. Now, now we're talking. You've already done that for free. Seeking men interested in becoming a foot in so- into our sock Ooh. model. There's no nudity. This is not a one. T- no, this is not a one-time gig, and you can make great money doing it. You do not need perfect feet. You just need to be very masculine. I'm I'm kind of hitting all the criteria at this point. Which is, do you, you want to reach out? Yeah, I kind of do. For more information, please make sure you, uh, to send clear photos of yourself along with the stats, including. Uh, height, weight, age, and shoe size. If posting his active gig is still available, I love how specialized this job is. Like they just need some guy to go around taking pictures of burgers. <laughs> Anybody can take a picture of a bur- looking for photographers to capture high quality images of the burgers across 57 cities in the USA with their with their phone capital uh, capital P. We are building a website where burger fans can share and discover their favorite burgers. We want to pre-populate the website with the 10 best burgers from 57 cities across the U.S. before we go live. Each burger will have a name, restaurant location, uh, taste tag, and image. That's this crazy. is someone's dream company. Like This is what happens when people like look for problems to solve to start businesses around, right? Like This isn't a guy who has a good idea who's making a business. This guy is just like, I don't know what. I want to start a business the burger website and will pay people to go around the country taking pictures of burgers it's interesting I just don't know $30 per restaurant but what if you like drive a long while well it's 57 cities $30 per restaurant if there's one say there's one city road life already van life already you know what $1700 no yeah, seventeen hundred dollars going to fifty-seven cities. Well, better get moving. What are the uh, lot? No, not lost and found. Misconnections. Let's screw. Findgetdickwet.com. I'm looking for a ride from Burlington to Boston or the North Shore on June thirtieth to meet up with my family. I'm a married professional grad student father in my 30s. I'm happy to pay for gas and or drive. I can take the bus to Montpellier if that makes it, if that makes mature. Responsible driver leaving Wilmington, Vermont about AM Sunday, heading to northern Westchester County. I'll be traveling through Bennington. Bro, people talk. I just... Where does he want to screw? It just sounds like he want. He, he's just he's, he's just people talk, and he's saying he can he can haul cars and boats. Shut <laughs> up! I want to fuck. That's Keep what I, the message driver. I want when you get when you message me. I wanted it to say I want to fuck. <laughs> That's a see. Saw a cute uh, school bus driver today. Had the hit on the horn. School season should never. <laughs> I don't know. why I said never. School season should be over soon. Maybe you would like to get uh, get together? Let me know. I'm sure I can make your day fun. I was very impressed by you, the beautiful black woman. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I was just driving by, but you were very noticeable. You are a very beautiful black woman. I am the white guy who waved at you as I got in my car and then again as I was driving away. It seems unlikely that you would uh, check here for a misconnection, but if you do, just know that I was very impressed. You were very attractive. <laughs> There's no more specifics. Just any black woman that I've ever taken You're a walk a, in Hartford. A very beautiful black woman, but he, he he waved twice. Don't. Okay. Don't. Yeah, he did Fair wave enough. twice. I'm looking for a woman I talked to in Florida on the Hartford misconnections, on the Connecticut okay. misconnections. Uh, uh, we talked when you were visiting Florida last year. You had to go pick your uh, pick your daughter's skateboard at the airport when you got home. If you see this, I would love to reconnect with you. Email me, please. <laughs> Such desperation. <laughs> uh, is there anything else that's fun? Chubby, hairy, older, gray beard. Bear. Looking for a friend to get together. Oh, he's just, oh, he's just interested. Super hottie at Starbucks has got to be good. You came in behind me today. You were very attractive and hot with your blonde hair, shorts, and heels on. I was having some real nice thoughts of how it would be fun to play with you. You looked amazing. If you remember this, get in touch. We'd like to discuss more of what kind of fun we could have. If you get in touch, let me know what kind of car you were driving and the color it was, so I know it's you. Hope to hear from you. Well, that was at least somewhat pleasant. He just wants to see what kind of fun they can have. Aren't there people that just look are looking for sex? Like, where, where's the sex thing? I feel like they maybe have cracked down on some things recently. Why? Mm. My content. My content. Domestic. What does that mean? Uh, it's violent. Seeking a comedy or improv look, partner. Look, Ben. Look at how much money. $100 a day? Just to be funny with this guy. Oh, I'm David, a 33-year-old business owner, musician, and aspiring comedian. I'm starting a YouTube channel to break... <sighs> my comedy skits and improv episodes and I'm looking for a few people who would like to join me and be a part of building it my skit slash video ideas are like a mix of impractical jokers whose lines it anyway and jackass but not as dangerous as jackass I have 400 plus video ideas already planned out and I have uh, all the necessary equipment to record and edit but now I just need to figure out the right crew my, uh, my best friend help on occasion Sorry, my best friend helps on occasion but he is and he's also a comedian but he lives in uh, California and has a family Ultimately, looking for a few people who have awesome personalities, quick-witted, can laugh at them uh, at themselves, can easily uh, interact and strike up conversation with strangers, and have talent for improv. Zach, that sounds like you. you want two hundred dollars a day? Two hundred dollars a day to just write stand up. Looking, looking forward to working with you, D -d 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 David. Whoa! Okay. How does this guy have that much money to spare? I can't believe he lolled at his own name. <laughs> he lolled at his own name. That's how you know he's a comedian. That's crazy. It's because he lolls at himself. He's so unfunny. <laughs> well, that's why he's charging, paying $200 a day for it. How are you feeling, Zach? You got to get funnier, Ben. I said every episode and we haven't done it yet. Yeah. I got to take that funny pill the doctor prescribed me. It's supposed to make me, um, it's supposed to get me better. Doctor gave me a, doctor gave me a funny pill. So he knows we do this funny show, right? Yeah. And so I went to a doctor and I'm like, I'm not feeling as funny, man. It's got to get funnier. And he said, well, I'm going to give you this funny pill. And uh, every time I take it, I just keep falling asleep. Did he give you the goofy shot? <laughs> Except the one they put in your ass. Yeah. Oh, did, he give, did, he, did he give you, did he give you the, 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 uh, did he give you the, the silly what else? How else do they inject uh, medicine into some, you? There's some. <laughs> I don't know. He just put some needle around that area. Okay, so you got you got the you got the funny pill. You got the silly shot. Did you get the wait? What did I say? The goofy shot. Yep. You know what, Zach? As and already. Then he bought me a drink. Oh, I think um, that. Yep. Uh, that was that was what I was hoping you'd tee up for me. Yep. Ah, oh, God, I just love it when Ben tees things up for me. It's like he's a great Britain and I'm the his 13 colonies. See, oh, hello, Queen Elizabeth. I hope you tee something up for me next time. See, you have a brain that works at a million miles per, per second, and I have a brain that works at about one <laughs> per hour. He was and tea. I was tobacco. We have different exports. <laughs> 
I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm doing <laughs> Avril Lavigne, but instead of Skater Boy and um, what oh. was Avril Lavigne? She did ballet. She was a girl. Yeah. She uh, did yeah. Ballet. Yeah. Instead, yeah. they're about the different exports during colonial times of uh, yeah. Great Britain in the United States. <laughs> Guys. That was, the, that was the tear down that wall moment, right? Yep. Guys, um, I don't know if this is the end of the video yet or not. We'll see. But, you know, if you've stuck it out this long, um, you deserve to know what the <gasps> next 10 foods of next week are. Um, newsflash. Colonial times are now in. Um, we're, we're now back. We're now, that's now retro. Now the cool kids like it. Right. So Ben, you right. know how sometimes like something is in style and then it's lame and then like, it kind of gets a little revival moment for a little bit. Um, yeah. the 1800s never really had that. So like, you know, right now the current wave is like the early two thousands, right? So like the eighties were popular and then they were kind of lame and then they were popular yeah, yeah, again yeah, yeah, yeah. in the early two thousands. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the nineties and the 2010s. Now it's the yep, early two thousands yep. now. Um, so you would think that maybe we'd get a little 2010s, uh, you know, a little retro-y next afterwards. Um, but we just looked mm -hmm. into the future, guys, and it turns out it's uh, colonial times. Um, turns out that we just forgot about them. And so they're popular again uh, starting next week. So all of your favorite fast food chains and grocery stores will be selling like colonial uh, themed era foods, right? Isn't colonial like when they were like burning witches? Well, I mean, they did that. They did that, too. <clears throat> that was just a small part. It's actually, um, you know, a lot of people kind of blow that out of proportion, Ben. You know, it was really a small part of colonial life. But they had a whole book on it. OK, so McDonald's is going to be releasing a porridge burger, guys. OK, next week. So you can that's look what forward you're to that. To. So that's number one. Yeah. So it, it's just kind of your standard McDonald's burger, but it has a little bit of porridge on it instead of some some sauce. OK, wait, wait, so. porridge. Do you mean oatmeal? No, I mean porridge. Okay, what's the difference between porridge and oatmeal? Look, man, I'm just reading the paper. You know, it, it already took a lot out of me to go into the future and to figure out what foods is going to be popular right. next week. So Yeah, I just don't. Well, I'm trying to think of like making the, you know how you make like a sloppy joe and it, everything's kind of falling out. Ah, oh, it's so it's so difficult to keep it all in the burger. Ah, Is that how you eat a sloppy you, joe? Yep, I just go, ah, ah, <laughs> ah I can't, I can't get, get enough of here. this sloppy joe. It's so slop. Get out of here, bun. Yeah, ah. yeah, yeah, and I go, ah. So I, <laughs> if you, like, put a little bit too much water in the porridge, that's, it's just liquid with, like, oats at the bottom, right? So how are you going to deal with that? I, I think you're going to be the one dealing new, with it. Yeah, proprietary uh, uh, porridge. Everything on okay. proprietary porridge puck. Right. What's the I mean, what they're calling it? They're not calling it a patty anymore. It's a proprietary porridge puck. Does that, that be just change? Because you just called it a porridge burger. Yeah. Well, I mean, like the porridge puck instead of the patty, but you know, you don't call a burger a patty. You call it a burger. The whole thing's a burger. They're just changing the name from patty to puck. So they call it get a burger, a patty, or a puck. It's a burger that has a porridge patty or a porridge but puck. You dumbass. You're the one who fucked up. <laughs> You're the one that got me wrong on it. All right. So what's number two? I think I know number two. Um, Firehouse Subs is having a perpetual stew. Okay. Is that similar to the paradoxal soup? No, it's a perpetual stew. Do you know what perpetual so stew is? No. I, it's, I thought uh, it was similar to the paradoxal stew soup but no no per, uh, perpetual stew is a real thing um that was popular in the 1800s it's where you get a big pot and it always has stuff in it and it's always being heated so there's no bacteria growing in it and you just add whatever whatever meats you hunt for you throw in the pot whatever vegetables you scavenge go in the pot and it's just always stew so it's constantly building a flavor profile over years and years and years so firehouse subs is going to start doing that and um you know honestly like I imagine like the West Coast perpetual stew will probably eventually taste different than the East Coast perpetual stew. You know, as they do, as it tends to, yeah, as it, it tends, tends to, as perpetual stew tends to do. Yep. Um, yep. yep. Okay. Oh, that okay? So I, I, I have a uh, a comment about that because I wanted to talk about that. Um, I've never heard of the perpetual stew. Okay. Um, but that just got me thinking. Um, what does perpetual mean? Indefinite. So if 
Tommy Pickles' dad never aged. Would that be a perpetual stew? Can we end the show already? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were. Yeah, they were foods. You said ten. Um. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like uh, Dairy Queen's coming out with oat. <laughs> yep, that's right. Oat, 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 oat ice cream. Oat. There's a lot of oat in the... Oh, oat ice cream. Oat blizzard. Are there oats in the ice... Okay, are there oats in the blizzard, or is it just oat-flavored blizzard? <laughs> it's oat-flavored blizzard, dude. With oat, oat, oat mix sense, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> That's so the there's a lot, of oats, a, lot, a lot of oats going around. I don't know if that's like a like a mm-hmm. overpopulation, an oat per, per population, an oat per population. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you got you gotta, you gotta seven more. Hit me with them. Oh uh, yeah, uh, let me just check my notes here really quick. Um, looks like corns and beans are going to be common. So look for that to, <laughs> to just to everything. <laughs> yeah, look, so look out for that. That's crazy. That's great. That's, is that two? Does that count as two or one? Like are they like? In the same category? Uh, it's just in general. I mean, a lot of places are going to be serving like corn and beans, dude. Okay, so okay, so that would be just a one then. So there's six six more foods that you need to talk about. Oh, yeah, that's that's that that is true. Um, you hear about uh, McDonald's? Well, we already went over the McDonald's porridge burger. Right, I know. Although uh, that's what I was talking about. Do you want to go to Mc? Want to go to McDonald's? Oh yes, I do. Yeah, but I wanted to talk to you actually first about the Burger King footlong Whopper. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what it is, you know, you know what you know what it takes to make a Whopper, correct? I assume. Well, yeah, it's like the um, I think it's like think the Dane, porridge pe- puck, but with beef. Right. Dane Cook did a, a bit about it where he said Whopper, Whopper, no onion, if you recall. Um, uh, it's like, it's like, uh, onion, well, no onion in his example, but onion, um, there's beef on there, <laughs> some lettuce, maybe, a, maybe a little bit of ketchup, mustard kind of deal. And then bread. Ketchup, so mustard what, kind what of deal. The, the Whopper, wa- the, the Whopper footlong is that, but like 12 inches of that. So. And, and where did you uh, find this out, bud? Uh, my arteries are going to be clogged by eating it. Oh, you're going to have one for the show. Yep. yep. Yeah. So, That's five. um, looks like cracker barrels coming out with a civil war Mac and cheese, a similar Mac and cheese, a civil war Mac and cheese, civil war Mac and cheese. I definitely what are the didn't look up the... 1800s recipes. And the first one says civil war Mac and cheese, <laughs> which, <laughs> Yep, that's that doesn't sound wrong at all. <laughs> what are the uh this doesn't sound what, made up in the slightest. Uh what what are what is what goes into it, I guess, into a uh a civil war at mac and cheese? Is it like a special dye or something that makes it like colorful? Like red, white, and blue, maybe. Well, it was a very, cool. very simple recipe uh I'm reading here from Cracker Barrel's press release here, Pen. Uh mm-hmm. it says they uh boil the macaroni in milk. Put a, the stew pan. Put in the stew pan butter, cheese, and seasoning. When melted, they pour the macaroni, putting breadcrumbs over, which brown before the fire altogether. Yep. <laughs> I swear to God, that's the only information they give me. That's it. <laughs> Although, I, yeah, yeah. Um, Boston Market will be coming out with a shoe fly pie. It's not really too classic, but I guess it kind of fits the. Um, what goes into a shoe fly pie? What goes into that? That's like a molasses pie. Okay, what is a molasses pie? It consists of other than molasses. That's it. It's a molasses pie. It's just molasses and a pie crust. Yeah, I mean, like there might be and some other Boston additives. Market, on. Boston Market is dropping a molasses <laughs> pie. Yeah, but molasses pie is actually really good if you've never had it. But. No. I, have, I can't say I've had it. Oh, sailor rations in the 18th century. Let's see which fast food joints are going to be. Eat like a pirate. I have to subscribe for $19 a month to see how to eat like a pirate. It's probably just like fish paste and like crab meat that has like a <laughs> shell in it. Yeah, so it looks like IHOP's coming out with a new 1800s pancake. Okay. 
Is that just made of like corn or something? Yeah, say it's more like a wild wheat. It's more like wild a wheat? Uh, it's more like a hot cake. Like, maybe like a little gritty. Yeah. Yeah, a little, yeah, little like, more textury for yeah, sure. You bite it and it's like, you know, you feel it in your teeth. Oh, I should stop this. I should stop wasting time with this. We only got nine. We needed one more. Oh my god. You're not you're you're Burger actually King is releasing a new nothing burger because during the Great Depression, people tend to kind of get by, you know. The Great Depression was in the nineteen hundreds. We're talking about the eighteen hundreds, Zachary. <sighs> Get with it, bro. If you're going to yes and yourself, you have to yes and yourself right. I want real tears to start coming out of your eyes before I get really mad. The, the, pick, the company that makes Pixie Sticks is announcing they're releasing the new 49ers Gold Dust Sugar Sticks. So, oh, oh, that's what's going in the Pixie Stick? Yeah, the California Gold Dust Pixie Sticks. Okay, what does that represent, though? Uh, the mass influx of uh, people trying to get rich from mining uh, or from sifting gold in California in the 1800s are going to be honoring them with a new pixie stick. That's not they bad gold. people? Aren't they bad people, though? The gold painters in California? Yeah. Uh, surely we can't hold all of them responsible. I don't know what they're responsible for. I I have no idea who these people are. Well, I sure hope that uh, the gold panners of California were decent people because they have a football team named after them, and I don't. I am unaware if they've done anything bad. Well, they also crazy. have the, the Chicago Redskins or whatever, and that's kind of weird. All right, dude. Right? Is it, is it the Chicago? I don't remember what they're called. What? No, they're actually my team, but they're not Chicago. Oh, 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 dude, that's crazy. You would like the 49ers too, because they stole all the gold and brought it back to their homeland of oh, Ireland. That's where the that's where the uh, elves come from. Like the one from the Lucky Charms commercial. The one at the end of the rainbow, you get Lucky Charms, and there's a little vet, his little cauldron. And he stole all the gold, and he panned it. He panned you it from rate, California. Rated my Twitter likes in a while. No, now I don't want you to. I have a long phone to look at more tweets. <laughs> you had to look at even more tweets at once. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> look, it's long. Honestly, people keep talking about, you know, the foldable phones and everything like that. Yeah, for more screen time. I want just the long phone. I want like a like a phone like this big that I can carry around so I can yeah. scroll and see more stuff. I agree. I agree with you. Uh, today, I accidentally liked one of your pictures on Instagram. Which one? I, un- I unliked it. You fucking asshole. I didn't want you to see it, and I'm happy you didn't. Hold on. Because I, I was I was getting pictures for the, the for the for the YouTube video. You fucking bitch. Yeah, I know. You're a bitch. My um my my mom when I was in school called me a gay wad. My dad when I was in school called me a terrorist. That's probably because you Drew Spongebob. No, that's not why. Was it because you wanted to get out of that test? <laughs> yeah, that's Tristan's thing. See how the tops of the cans are different in Alaska? See how it's like rigid? It's like ribbed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like a For thing apparently. Yeah, it's like a thing in like Hawaii and Alaska due to like how they import cans or something. They got to be different. Was it Wendover or Real Life Lore did a video about him? Something like that. You could look it up. You watched a whole video on why they ridge cans in certain states? Yes. Damn, dude. That is the type I mean, of YouTube content I watch. Have at it. No, I mean that's all that's 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 why you have all the stuff to riff off of because you know little pieces of information that are just funny. Does it seem like I was good at funny. riffing today? Oh my god. Yeah, you were pretty good at uh, riffing. You nah, said I'm you, an you, amateur you about at the, riffing today. You, I'm you an didn't amateur want to riffer. Ni- you didn't want to spend nineteen dollars on the sailor's rations. Or the, the sorry the 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 recipe for the sailors' rations. Everybody, so, uh, put a put a number three in chat if you fucking uh, don't want to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> I got beer everywhere. You wanna you wanna you wanna end this bitch? Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs>
I want to end more than this bitch. Yourself. Go no, ahead. my God, Jesus Christ, no. I want to kill Hillary Clinton. I want to kill this this facade we all just agreed to, man. I feel like oh. we all show up every day and we put these masks on to pretend to be different versions of ourselves to the other people we see in real life, right? Mm-hmm. It's like mm-hmm. you know who you are truly deep down inside, or maybe you don't know, but you have a feeling, right? You have a sense for like what feels right. And you go throughout your day just playing like weird little different versions of that for other people to like try to make them happier or something. For what? To make things a little bit less awkward at your job, man? It's just kind of yeah. silly. Uh, you know, I show up and I, you know, I like to be funny. I like to make other people laugh. But I sometimes I show up to the show and I just think like, you know, I I, 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 I get that we got to do it, you know, for us and everything. But it's been about an hour and a half and I just feel like I'm just wearing a mask for no reason. You know what I mean? Like I'm not truly, I'm not truly expressing myself in the way that I, I want to. And I feel like this is slowly becoming just another example of showing up to a meeting at work where I'm putting on a mask to make other people happy or I'm going to the grocery store and I'm just putting on another mask just to make things less awkward in the grocery aisle. You know what I mean? And it's like slowly and slowly and slowly I'm realizing that just I've built up this whole macabre it's 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 hellish really i mean you know you always kind of envision hell as being this fiery brimstone place where satan stuck, sticks a fucking hot dog up your butt but really what it is is it's just this infinite perpetual stew of a reality where you wake up every day and you you know the steps you need to do to fix the things in your life but you really don't take any action to fix it you just talk about it over and over again and you know the people around you say that you talk too much and uh, and you kind of leave, you go home some days and you just think about all the, the shit that you said and it just sits there and it stews in your mind and you just wonder, how do they think of me? You spend so much of your time alone thinking about how much other people think of you. And you, you do random things, like you forced to wipe your butt every day. I mean, like just what is this world we've concocted for ourselves? Where it, your whole life is nothing but a bunch of administrative work, a bunch of like, you know, housekeeping janitorial work for your own butt or your own room or whatever it is. And then just pretending to be slightly different versions of yourself to make other people happier. Like, I'm not saying I want to kill myself. I'm just saying, I wish I could go naked and work in the grocery aisle. I wish I could, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, say weird things all the time and just, you know, uh, you know, look at Ben, look at him. (laughs) Uh, so you know zach i agree with you i i agree with you i agree with you 100 percent. sometimes i i uh i get on work and i i talk in with a capital letter at the beginning of my sentence and a period at the end of it uh and i don't and i i feel it's unnatural i'm putting a uh in 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 the and i like dream i am putting a mask on that's what the mask is um uh, and recently dream has decided, uh, from, he went to, uh, took off the mask to be vulnerable and he, then he put it back on because he was getting too much hate. And maybe sometimes that's how I feel. Maybe I should put a mask on. Uh, it is very difficult to live a, a, a life uh, purely online where all your friends are online and all of your, and your work is online, but you know what? Bada bing, bada boom. I'm in the room. I'll see you soon. Sometimes I want to have kids, but then other times I have dreams of eating them. Don't got anything to go off of that. <laughs> no response to what you just said. Um, no, I, I have sometimes I have I have uh, great dreams that I feel are nightmares, and then they turn into nightmares because I do something horrible. Do you use Spotify or Apple Music? Uh, I use Spotify. Oh yeah, you sent me your wrapped. I did. I, yeah, yeah, I you used got a lot of Spotify. Big I don't. There. I, uh, I, yep, it was Big Allen Stardew, Stardew Valley. Um, How would you feel I've been if listening Big L announced to, a Stardew Valley collab? That would go fucking nuts. That for 2022. 2023 is all about the essential ska. Ska? Yep. Ethan and I listen to some ska. Yep. I listen to the essential ska on Spotify. That's you like know, my, Beer by Real Big Fish. Everybody in the planet that has ever listened to Scott knows beer by real big fish. <laughs> you know, Streetlight Manifesto. I, you know, I, Girls I, Go Ska, Ketrida. I got that name completely wrong. Girls Go Ska, dude. Maybe. You know, Ska Network on YouTube? Nope. Ska Network's awesome, dude. I love Ska Network. 
I um, whenever I, I'll I'll be in the car and I'll say, "Hey Google, or, okay Google, play uh, Real Big Fish," and I'll always hear the either um, or it'll be the um, uh, that's is that trendy? Do you know how to skank? <sighs> Do I know how to skank? Yeah, it's the ska dance. No, can you do it? Yeah, it's a little. I'm gonna do a little. It's a little. Oh, I know. How, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. How to, I I don't know how to do it though, and it would make a lot of noise because I'm uh, very heavy to do like those jumping do you movements. You know, Scott got me banned on Twitter. Scott got you banned. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Soldier Boy tweeted something, and I replied to him. You should make a ska cover called Skank That Soldier Boy. And he reported it, and I got banned from Twitter. I guess because they thought the word skank was bad. That's fucking funny. Yeah, so, and what? I know Soldier Boy manually reported my tweet too, <laughs> saying I, you should make a cover, a ska cover called "Skank That Soldier Boy." Remember when he was making game consoles? That was hilarious, dude. He went the to jail for game? it. That's fucking nuts. the Soldier Game. That sounds like that's the shittiest name for anything ever. What about Starfield? I don't care. <laughs> I'm on the fence. I feel like. There's certain groups you talk to where they, they hate it, like they just hate it. And then there's certain groups you talk to where they're in love with it. And I just kind of feel like I've, I grew up loving the Bethesda games and I really like No Man's Sky after it was fixed. And honestly, it seems like kind of a little bit of a rip of No Man's Sky. Um, and so combining those two things sounds like it should be a game that I'll love. And it's on Game Pass, so I'll play it for free. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. But Bethesda recently has blown chunks. They're kind of an awful developer recently. Dude, what do you mean? Fallout so. 76 is so funny. Good always. I like West Virginia. Mountain Mama. Um, uh, no, I don't care about anything that Xbox is doing right now, to be honest. I was excited about Halo. Um, and I haven't played Halo since season two. And I really hope that uh, there's a reason for me to go back to it. Um, well, they announced they showcased season four today, which I was just like, Jesus Christ, I didn't even know they're fucking doing that. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm I mean? Happy, I'm happy that they're moving f- quicker on getting more content out. Like, that's obviously Infections a coming thing. out two years yep. later. Which is weird. And that's like the kind of like the whole like marketing campaign for season four is Infection, which is kind of strange. Um, but Infection is probably going to be great. It's probably going to be great. What they need to do. Here's my honest opinion. What Halo Infinite needs to do is drop their battle royale. Just get it fucking done. Get it out the door. Wait, we don't oh, even know confirmed if that's happening. Uh, we pretty much know have confirmed that it's happening. It's Project been Tatanka. leaked, kind of, but like, yeah, they've never publicly pretty, said it's they're been doing pretty it. Pretty significantly leaked. Like, it's it's like if it doesn't happen, that'll be very surprising. Yeah. Um, but they if they, if it is happening, they need to get it out. They need to get it the fuck out because I mean, counterpoint um, though. If they know it's going to take a while and be this big delayed mess of shit, you know what I mean? Like, I would prefer them to not say anything until they know it's going to be perfect and then drop it. You know what I mean? Well, knowing Halo, knowing Xbox and knowing Microsoft down their neck, I don't know if that's going to be possible. I'm just saying, the the moment you're like new Halo Battle Royale is the moment people start turning heads again and going like maybe i'll check that out again that is the moment where you have to like boom it's out now you know what i mean like get back into the game now and if you do the whole thing again where you announce it and it gets delayed or you announce it and it comes out and it's like broken or doesn't work slightly it's okay if it's a little glitchy at first you know what i mean but like it has to just you announce it and then it works right yeah like you're able to get into a lobby and play (laughs) without it being a nightmare that, that that's it like that's the only thing that can save it at this point mm-hmm. i agree you know what we should do zach meth what a gaming channel i'm joking i would kill myself yeah. i do i did i did have the idea because um uh uh power wash simulator yeah have you heard of that game i played it um i think that would be a great game to just do shit and chat to like it's like a walking and talking kind of feel like asmr game like. yeah i think that that would be something that we could do together and that'd be fun Maybe. Um, yeah, anyway, back to that. I, I just thought about that specifically with me and you. Um, Isn't it funny you like Zach and the show and that my, my brain just went, okay, save the show now. <laughs> like turn it around yeah, and, and, yeah, and yeah. start actually talking about something. Um, 
I saved the show, by the way. Screw that whole hour long conversation we had with Sean and Tristan. I am now saving the yeah, show. Yeah. Two yes, hours that. later, after everyone's gone, I go, Right. How do you feel about Starfield? Yeah. <laughs> do you use we, uh, Spotify you, or Apple talk, Music? I can talk about games all day. Then Riverside stopped working. <laughs> Zach and Ben talked for about 30 minutes, waiting for the videos to process to see if they had lost any footage. And let's hope they did. <laughs> they lost like 10 or so minutes, but were able to close out the show. Hey everyone, welcome to the Rich Edit Podcast. I'm Larry Marshall. This is Ben McKay. We, We're recording a whole new episode because we, we fucked up. We did not lose the footage. We lost all the footage. Well, we don't know. We could have lost Tristan's footage. We'll know, you'll see if his video is lower quality if we lost Tristan's footage. But hopefully we didn't lose Tristan's footage. Did you see? Did you see Tristan's? How, did you tell me what you saw? I the saw comments him. You saw. I, oh, I don't know why I thought you were talking to me. Uh, ben, what did you see? Uh, 720p Tristan. Mm, that would suck. Well, his cameras. What? No offense, Tristan, but the camera you're using for your webcam is not much quiet higher quiet. quality than yeah, 720 it's not, it's not very quiet yeah. you're right it's not very quiet right. yeah too loud. Uh, but we just <laughs> were hanging out for about 20 to 25 minutes hoping that nothing was broken hopefully nothing is broken yeah. hopefully the episode oh. comes out perfectly yeah so ben was like oh refresh your page because apparently like my browser fucked up or something um and it gave us a notification about that so i pressed refresh well he said press refresh and i panicked and right underneath my refresh button is my bookmark bar on Chrome and the Gmail was there. So I pressed on Gmail. What, what a funny mistake that is. I pressed on Gmail and not to refresh. And so um, there was a moment there where I thought I lost everything. Some people have lost everything. everything like gambling. I lost everything oh. going to Gmail. Yeah. So I love you. Ben loves love you. you. Well, oh, okay. No, okay. I guess he does me. love you. I love uh. you too. I love Ben. I love um, lots of things. I love hamburger. What about the Whopper footlong? That really no. funny joke that did not fit with the theme of the 1800s thing that you were going with that I forgot that you were doing. Yeah, that was trash anyways. You could just like make that like 10 times speed if you want to, to get through that bit. I'll do that. Yeah. Do I look, do I look like aged when I do that? Yeah, you look dying. Do you have a certain song that you want me to play in the outro? I did like Baby on Time last I time. Put, I put iced coffee in the outro for 25. Oh, did you really? I haven't yeah. seen 25 yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you guys uh, like me eating in 25? Leave it in the comments down below. Tell us what you like in the comments down below. Tell me, tell me if you like me on the comments down below. Um, this will be really funny to look back on a year from now when it's like much more directed. You know what I mean? Not directed, but you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like I'll know yeah. what's, what specifically is in the Maybe. Com- it, it, What's Maybe. in the description, I mean, because right now we're transitioning a lot of shit in the description. Yeah. So. Anyways, um, Ben, um, look at that guy. <laughs> look, look at, that, look at that guy. Look at that guy. Oh, look at that guy. All right. Uh, well, I hope everybody enjoyed the episode, uh, besides the parts that we didn't enjoy doing. Um, it was, uh, but, uh, love you. Lo- uh, um, sup you beautiful bastards and have a fantastic uh, evening or whatever you're listening to this. Sayonara. Sayonara. Can you do that with me? Sayonara. I'm not saying it though. Why not? I'm going to give myself a headache. All right, we're done. And here. then when it's going out, do me rapping. It's the regurgitated podcast, and I'm here to say a lot of interesting things in not interesting ways. Please. His name's Ben Paquette. My name is Zachary. Re- and I'm holding a lot of pee. It's been about two and a half, half hours, hours. And we'll see, see if I can go another, another 30. Pee.